walk up to the apartment. Hello? What's the air on in this house? It's sure the hell is hot. I'm cold. You must have a few. I mean, in other words, I'm saying it's at least 70 is what I'm saying. No. Um, everyone said hello. What's up, y'all? Uh, What's going on, y'all? This is Jeremy from What's Up. Uh, What's up, y'all? Melly's in the house. What's up, Mel? Finally, huh? Alright, they said, what's up? I already got my Trinity diced up. Alright, we're ahead of the game. Hey, David. What's up, David? Uh, Gumbo, yes, loving it. Love the recipes. Thank you, I appreciate Much it. Much love from Detroit. Alright, Detroit, appreciate you. What's up, Chicago? Um, hey, what's up, Christy B? What's up, Christy B? How you feeling? I mean, oh. a cutting board, sous chef? What you mean? Cutting board. All right. All right, y'all got y'all one large onion, two bell peppers, four sticks of celery. Sarah's the sous chef. She just don't know it. I'm about to start getting paid like a sous chef. I guess I'll get paid in food. Is that? You gonna eat this gumbo? Right, let's see, are we back on? I don't know what happened. Okay, you guys, let us know if it's working. I don't know what happened, it just paused. Or no, it'll come back on. Okay. Get back on. Alright. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. The whole app shut down on the phone. YouTube needs to do better, man. I ain't gonna lie. I hate to say that, but they gonna have to do better. You see, everybody's coming back on. They're probably Watch trying this. to refresh. Thank you. It. it just closes out sometimes. I don't know. It's just raggedy. Well, the phone might be on the update. Because there's a new update coming out. Oh. I don't know. It has that iOS 15 update coming out. Well, it came out. I don't know about no damn update. All right, y'all. So... <laughs> Y'all let me know. Y'all got y'all four sticks of celery? I might need to lower the camera so you can see a little bit better. Or right, back it up. What right. are you doing? Because they can't see the board. Let's see. All right, there you go. I think they can see better now. All right. Four sticks of celery. Y'all go ahead on up and dice that up, okay? Now, now look. How good can they see? Get it, get on your camera for I can see if they can see these cuts. Okay. Wait, I gotta go back. Trying to make sure y'all can see this if I need to move the camera around. Hold on, I gotta find you now. Hold up, y'all. <laughs> Preston said, hey, what the account is he on? He said, I'm in your life. All right, y'all, I'm just trying to make sure. A little lower. Hey, put that a little bit lower. Just... Yeah, they all said a little bit lower. You know what? This is what we're going to do. Hold up, y'all. Bear with me. You're getting fired as the you're gonna camera technician. You're going to take my technician. head all the way out if you lower it like that. I'm just saying. Keep going. All right. That's good. Ain't nobody want to see your head? All right. So, look, y'all. Y'all got your celery ready? Full sticks? Go ahead and look. Cut it like this, y'all. By this size, okay? Not too big, not too small, like this. Let me show y'all. Can you see the size of that? Uh, like this size. <laughs> I don't know how you would describe that. Like a size of a nickel that big? Um, they said jambalaya gumbo, probably. Oh man, blueberry. I don't think he's ever tried that before. 
guys, we can see the size. I never made a root. Can I use a big cast iron skillet or should I use a non-stick? Either one. Either one will work. I mean, if you ain't never made one, go ahead and get that non-stick out. In my opinion, I'd say go with the non-stick. It ain't hard. A root is not that hard. Y'all gonna see. We're gonna do it together tonight. Oh, Christy B. We're praying for you, my girl. Yeah, she said she feels like she just had a big chunk of her skull removed. Because she did. Wow. Alright, y'all. So, like I said, y'all, four sticks of celery. Duck season is close. Duck go go is the best. Let's go. All right, BW, I appreciate that. Yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. We're finally getting out of this raggedy summer. Man, that was raggedy. No. Yeah, that is true. Equal parts like oil and flour. Yeah. Um, you could do butter and flour. Oh, almost broke your phone. <laughs> Sorry. And uh. Make the sure it's still plugged the hard in. part is then. Look, you're going to go with a cup of vegetable oil, and we're going to go with a cup of all-purpose flour, and that's going to be perfect, all right? If you got some big pieces, you know, like the size of a quarter round, about like that, y'all, go ahead and just cut that in half, you know what I mean? Not, not nothing too crazy, it's just, you know, when you get to the ends of the big parts down there, that's what I like to do, okay? Raymond said, I like your videos. Hey, thank you, I appreciate it. Oreo said, nice to see you guys doing good. My favorite Iron Chef, you need to be in the house kitchen on Fox TV cooking with <laughs> Iron Chef Ram. All right, man, I appreciate it, y'all. Well, just something like that. Now, now, we don't want to dice it up now too much, all right? Like that's good. That's beautiful. All right, now. Hey, Colorado. Go right there. Howard yeah. Sinema 5. Love what y'all do. Go food, go folks do that. Thank, Thank you, so you Howard. Howard. Appreciate great. that. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. Now, remember I told y'all to get them look, to two of them there green bell peppers, about that size, y'all. You see how big that is? Like, like that. Two nice ones, okay? We have two of them. All right. I'll dice them up. I guess I could have told y'all, hey, get your Trinity ready. I could have had mine ready, but I don't know how that goes, bro. I figure we got more time than money. At least I do. Yeah, they probably got all this shit cut off, ready to go, cook I'm with you. And they got to sit there and wait for you to I'm catch up. I promise y'all, I promise you. It ain't going to take too long here. We're going to roll it. Bro, I've got that dry, cool shirt on. Well, you can't get too much more than that out here. It ain't that cold. We only in, like, the mid-70s, and that's yeah. only going to last a day or two. Yeah. It's like fake fall. Yeah, it'll probably be 90 degrees next week. I'm sure of it. Now I'm sure of it, y'all. Alright, I'm making me coffee. Sarah's making some coffee. What's up, the Lucis? Um. Alright, y'all. We cooking, baby. It's gonna make a lot of gumbo, y'all. You follow this recipe. Now, look. You can freeze some, you know what I mean? Put in some, some Ziploc bags or whatever tonight, tomorrow. Um, You can definitely freeze some up, y'all. It's gonna make a lot, alright? Thank you, Willie. That's right, you heard me? You heard me, baby. This right. is better than the McGangbang. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. Screw that. Oh alright, y'all, let's go ahead on and cut that down in little strips, alright? Like so. Alright? Check that out, babe. Not too small, not too big. I'm gonna show y'all. Who's throwing the sugar? I don't know. Hmm. Alright, y'all, look. Check it out. Y'all checking it out? Something like that, okay? Hey, Emery. Not too big. Damn sure not too small. Definitely not too big either, now, y'all. <laughs> they said that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's what she said. Hey, Emery. Hey, Thank you, Texas. Appreciate you. That's right, Cody. We're going to take what we can get. That's true. That's it. We're about to make that roux, y'all. So, whoever ain't never made one, you're going to make one today. You can make your roux for your gumbo like we're going to do now. Of course, I'm dropping all kind of vegetables here. 
You make one when you make your uh, chicken stew. You can make your own roof forever, man. Believe me. It tastes good. Make your roux when you make some chicken and dumplings. Y'all ever had chicken and dumplings? Let me know. Oh, yeah, I did see it. It's kind of funny when I was packed up and everybody had spicy. Is that what you said? No, I said that, that no more Nobody saying that, sir? Uh, hot and spicy gumbo. Oh, yeah. We always walk up to my house in California to watch football. But appreciate you. Need you. To be the show. <laughs> All right, now I appreciate it. Oh, uh, Frankie Q, you better learn put learn good for when you hook up your Preston homie. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, what's up, Ben? And how is that all shit? What's up, homie? What's up, Ben? So we're just making up some gumbo, y'all. Cooking some gumbo, y'all. Start to finish. That's what we doing. Ooh, Amanda. Yeah, she said she's waiting on the Cajun cornbread. Oh yeah, I need to make some of that soon, y'all. Southern Bandit sent you up a $5. Thank you for the support, Southern Bandit. Yeah, I appreciate that. Mm. Oh, onion. Melissa said, make enough room and save it for later. Or that. You can definitely do that. Throw you some little mason jar or whatever and save it up. Roux ain't that hard, y'all. We're going to see. Watch. We're going to do it together. I'm going to show y'all. You know, the problem with roux is it does smell like it's starting to burn. And that scares a lot of folks, you know. It's like, man, if it smells burned, it must be burned. But it ain't, you know. Boston before Cali. I called this before the <laughs> Yeah. Trying to get a food truck, man, but they're expensive, y'all, so we'll see. See if I can come up with that loop. And, uh, man, I'll go all over the, I'll be all over the damn place, you know? We'll see if it works out, you know? Why don't you okay the storm? Did you ever find the different coffees, David said? David, I ain't find that uh, pumpkin spice, man. They ain't doing us right out here. No, so I substituted with air fresheners and candles. Yeah, I got the air fresheners <laughs> and candles. You seen that, huh? Yeah. I told RJ you could have one. When I opened up the Walmart bag and I, I said, what is all this pumpkin spice candles you bought? What is wrong with him? It's my groove, man. I should have cooked it in my mask today. Those folks don't cook it long enough and then it tastes like flour. What that? Yeah, I'm about to show y'all. Y'all about to be professional roux makers today, I guarantee it. When we do that, we get down to the roux. I'm going to put y'all right up on that pot so y'all can literally watch the process in live time, okay? Oh, that's awesome. I wish you could have got me discharge from the hospital. Awesome. Man. That is awesome. All right, y'all. Look, one onion. Buy this here big, okay? I had a friend that had a food truck in New Orleans called Eat Me. Not sure if it failed or not. Man, you know... New Orleans kind of sucks when it comes down to food trucks, I ain't gonna lie. But since, you know, the way I see it is, look, I can go to Texas, I can go to all, I can go to all kind of states, y'all. Um, uh, and so... Yeah, but you probably have to be permitted in each state. Man, make that happen. I got, I got friends in all the states, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ain't worried about that? Look, I ain't worried about the permits. That damn food truck's expensive, man. Uh, as long as you don't burn it, can't have the fire high, especially, oh, basically constantly, um, stir. That's yep. correct. That would be accurate, yeah. What's up, Ryan? Definitely true, y'all. We're gonna make some good gumbo here, I guarantee you, y'all. Alright, once we get this here, the onions cut up. Almost there. Because gumbo don't really take as long as you think it does, you know? Honestly. It's not like gumbo is a meal that you're going to be you all day long cooking. Um, how many racks are there? Oh, I guess they were talking about the Like, a decent one is about, about, you know, a decent old one is about 40,000, 45, you know? Go up to 150, bro, easy, with no problem. You can hit 100 with no problem, but I ain't got that kind of money, man. Crazy as hell, they are. How much? You can go to 150, get you a nice one. The mother hell, you better not. Like, in other words, 45,000, you can get you a nice 1988 or 95. That's nice, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. But you ain't gonna get no new one. But you know, um, that's how it yeah, is. I don't know. 
I'm not sure about it. Alright, y'all. Well, my donkey vegetable, babe. <laughs> Crazy as hell they are. <laughs> Crazy as hell they are. That's right. I'm like, bro, look. I got to clean 4,000. What y'all got? You about 145,000 shy. Crazy as hell, for real. But you know you can make money with it, but it's like... That's a big investment. Oh, hell. The investment in my ass. Because it ain't like you could just... You got to have some good credit. But not only like good credit, you got to have some shit, brother, back it up. Like, you get, you need a personal loan type situation. And you, you got to be top notch with that. Have all your documents ready and everything, bro. So you got to. And you ain't got no documents. I ain't right? got no documents, bro. The bank is done. <laughs> oh, Frank said, by the way, the Diamond Rings rice tea is so much better than the Diamond Rings tea. Man, I told you about that. You see what I got right here? That's that Zatarain. Pro. How you say it? How you say this? Pro Parboil. Parboil. Pro boil rice, y'all. That's, that's, I ain't lying. Get you some of this. I'm going to tell y'all why. You throw that in the water, let that bitch boil, forget about it for 30 minutes and come back and be like, oh man, my rice. And you're like, oh, it's all right. Because it don't, you can't overcook it. I need a shirt because it's hot in this house, man. It is not. Thank come you, in here. Frank, let me see. Thank you, Frank. It ain't no damn 69 degrees in this house. I guarantee it. Baby, you just hot. It's no. Nasty. It ain't 69. You're full of shit. I, okay, 68. I'm wrong. It ain't no goddamn 68, bro. Baby, it's freaking 70 something degrees outside. The air conditioner's broke. Mm -mm. Yeah, I turned it down. I'll tell you, one of the two. Either air conditioner's broke, I'm sick. <laughs> Cook this shit out that gumbo, my man. You are good buds. Right, get it, babe. All right, now. So, four sticks of celery, yo. We got diced up. We got them two uh, green bell peppers diced up. One large yellow onion, okay? Diced up, babe. Boom. We're going to take that here. Come on, sous chef. Hey, y'all. Hand uh, me something for to put this on. I need my, my chicken. What you need, baby? Something to put this in for a moment. Uh, Temporary. Uh, yeah, put it right here. Oh, there you go. Just put this to the side for a minute, y'all. My sous chef sucks. Imagine pulling y'all funny. <laughs> oh. She lying, bro. No, damn, 68 in here, bro. I hope that she knows she lying. What's up, Callie? All right, y'all. Check this out. Uh, here. That is true now. Melissa said you can uh, get like an old uh, ice cream truck and convert it. And yeah, yeah. it does. I told else... Sarah that because I found one that was like 10000 You know, you can get one of those 10 and 15000 but you still got to drop about 15000 um, but I ain't, I'll be honest with y'all, bro, I ain't too handy, bro. Like, I ain't a good person to, like, fix stuff up, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna sit in a lot of y'all. Like, you know, you ever see people, like, they take them old-ass cars, bro, and they make them bitches look nice? That ain't me, bro. That would never happen. That bitch would be sitting in the yard till my kids graduated. That's right, Peter. Respect your sous chef. Man, my sous chef better get it together or get fired around here. All right, uh, the chicken, baby. What the chicken? All right. All right, All right, y'all. This out here watering my plants. It's us. Special oh, plants. Good plants. All right, y'all. Look, boneless, <laughs> boneless and skinless chicken thighs, y'all. Now, if you want to go chicken breast, whatever, that's fine. All right, cube it out, babe. Let's cut it down strip like so. Look, like him. Let's get a nice one for y'all to see. Cute, but I like Your dad's that. on here. He said, let's see one of the puppies. Oh, okay. Show one of the puppies. Look, y'all. Cut the cue for your gumbo like, like the chicken like this, y'all. Look. What's up, Pops? Big Something Boss, like he's making a roux for gumbo. Yeah, we're going to make that roux in a minute. But cube the chicken up like this, y'all. Two, three pounds, okay? This thumbnail is amazing. As soon as I start the live stream, I heard this guy's voice. I got really happy because... <laughs> The man with the southern accent cooks good. You got good recipes, man. man I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, y'all. So cube that chicken down. Say like the size of a quarter. If that, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Not too big. Not too small, bro. What's up, fat cat? All right. They said quarter inch cubes. Yeah, like look, like the size of a quarter, bro. No quarter I, inch. I know, but I was already telling them the size oh. of a quarter. <laughs> I already said that before that. Okay. <laughs> boneless or chicken breast? These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, y'all. Yeah, he likes the dark meat. But if you want chicken breast, you can definitely go with that. Uh, they sure. said, I don't know, put that truck in the shop. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. You just gotta have your money right, man. So this is just gonna be a chicken and sausage gumbo. We're not doing a seafood gumbo. Or he's not, should I you say? You would do the same same aspect, you know? But, because someone's asking if you use a shrimp broth. Um, I don't know. Okay. You usually use chicken broth, huh? Chicken broth? Well, I use water. Season that suck up. I'm going to show y'all. Yeah, but you could definitely use a sh shrimp broth would probably be good in a seafood gumbo. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. You really be killing it. You the man. No doubt about it. I appreciate y'all, man. He ain't Angel Sweet, he ain't never going to say it. He's going to always say the W sauce. That's Say it, baby. Oh, man. I forgot the W sauce. Son of a bitch. Oh. Well, I hope y'all got W sauce. You forgot to tell them, too? I told them. I forgot my damn sauce. Boy, boy, boy. No good son of a gun. Is that the front thighs or the back, Nate said? Hell, I don't know, <laughs> bruh. They get real that's, technical. That's the know. sides, bruh. <laughs> About to be good eating there, boy. I tell you that. Preston, you're about to get blocked on YouTube. Look, y'all. If you got too much fat on now, you know what I'm saying. Look, if you got too much fat. Go ahead on and get that up off. Sure, I read your comments, baby. You can't keep flooding the comments, okay? Oh, what the comments? He keeps sending over cat emojis for some reason. What's that for, son? Mad emojis. Oh, okay. I read your comments, baby. I said mad emojis. All oh, right, okay. baby, let us cook. I'm saying mad emojis, I don't care. Okay, his sous chef Sarah ain't never getting fired. She about to get fired, bro. She, she lazy sous chef today. Is the inner thigh, or is it the outer? <laughs> Shit. Look, y'all. Hell if I know. Get you some damn thighs, whatever one they got. Tell the accent and things he says are liars in a good way. Appreciate y'all. Man, I'm gonna tell y'all. This is gonna be a good meal right here. Let me tell you something. See them holidays coming up? Shh. Oh, you get your cook on with this? Have your family over, your friends? They might not never leave your house if you get them something like this going. Tell you that right now. Come from the backyard, the front yard, I don't know how you uh, flip it. I know your food, yummy. Come to California, people love your food. I appreciate it, man. Hopefully, I'll make it down to Cal, man. That show would be nice. Guarantee it. That's right, Amanda. Guarantee it, Big Boss baby. said, what's your number one food? My number one food is, I, I love... I that in the comments or, the, or you. Me? Mm -hmm. I love barbecue shrimp, y'all. That's, that's my... I love barbecue shrimp, but I done showed y'all to make that one. Did you do that on live? And now, oh, I was gonna say that no, I ain't never did it on live. We had to do that, but yeah, man, you a raggedy sous chef. I gotta like make do around here. I'm so tired of you disrespecting. So <laughs> we'll do that though too, y'all. I'm gonna start doing some cooking lives and and uh, stuff like that, so we can hang out and chill and learn how to cook together. But guess what? Oh, y'all gonna know how to do a roux today. I grew up in Biloxi, moved to California. I miss my legit gumbo. Your food is always on point. That's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's a hell of a change, Mississippi, to, to, to a cow. Mm -hmm. Watch it for Denim Springs. What's up, Gerald? All right, Denim Springs. What's up? <laughs> uh, ever deep fried fine rib? I ain't never deep fried one. Now, is it good or what? Talk to me. Can't say I hear. Coming up to Pennsylvania. Throw your corn in there. What corn? Well, you know you don't put no corn in your gumbo. They trying to take your uh. I'll lose all my Louisiana straps. I go ahead and put some corn up in here. They trying to get you canceled, baby. Talk about some corn. Corn, bro. Next they gonna tell you throw tomatoes in there. Oh boy. <laughs> you go down to a, a Creole occasion house, bro. And they got some tomatoes in that gumbo. Let's go ahead on and leave, bro. <laughs> Tell me you appreciate everything, but uh, you good. Where is your dream vacation? New York, y'all. New York would be my dream vacation, really. Been trying to get there, but you're not at goals. They always got something happening. Alright, Ben said, I love the Soul Show Crab video. I never had a blue jet. I hope you're going to be the first to make them for me, bro. I'll pay fairly. <laughs> Alright, now. Yeah, man, I love some Soul Show Crab, uh, it's kind of, a lot of people I think don't like them because 
they, they can't think about eating the shell, but it really don't taste like a shell because it's soft. It's real soft, you know? It ain't like you eating a crunchy crab, you know? All right, cut the bone off the ribs. All right, cut the bone ribs off and string it back on deep fry in like four minutes of pan. Damn. I might try that. They said tomatoes and gumbo, that's a sin. That's right. Corn, where they from? Oh, no, I never had corn in my gumbo. No. Love from Ireland, guys. Ralphie, where's your tequila? Shoot Appreciate it. you. Look I got some. I might have a drink a little while. I can't be shooting it, man. Hell. I might have one with y'all a little while though. We gotta get this roux going. You can have a beverage while you're cooking, but you know what I'm saying? Something like that. I might have one in a minute. What y'all drinking on? That's right, Melissa. Tomatoes and Tracy Say. That's right. What's that Baker Ralph? How What's you doing, brother? Man, I can't complain, y'all. I can't call it and can't complain. You know what I mean? You ever been there before? Like a whole lot or like nothing like I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere's in between. Somewhere's in between, man. Uh, it's in that in between where you can't call it, but you can't complain, so you like right there in the middle. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense. Rum. What's up, David? All right, some rum. Sarah Cheap likes uh, rum and sprite. What's B V? What's what? B V. Is uh, it cheap as B V? B V. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't sure. No drink till the room is done. That's right. Gotta get that root done. Fool around in here and drink some tequila with y'all and be laughing with y'all. Burn up the root. Y'all be like, man, let me get out of here, man. I knew this dude sucked. Nothing like good home cooking. Put your weight on. Man, I'm telling y'all, I'm showing sure y'all how to do this here, y'all. Oh, Black Velvet. Black Velvet? What kind of alcohol? What movie was that? Is that Velvet? <laughs> what was that movie, y'all? Is that Red Velvet? Or did it just say velvet? Is that velvet? The hell are you talking about? Y'all ever seen that movie? I'm gonna have to look it up. You ain't, you ain't, you definitely seen it. I don't know that one more. Is that velvet? Alright, y'all, hold on. My sous chef sucks, I gotta clean up as I go. Alright. He said he has that in between, it's called effort. <laughs> yeah, that, that's where I'm at. So. Y'all got that in, y'all? Checking dice up? When y'all notice we ain't even. Seasoned it up, yeah, but we, we good. Let, let, let that chill. That ain't hurting nobody, okay? Now, do you got your two pounds of smoked sausage? Let me know. Cause they here, said it's a song. I know the song. It's funny. I love it. But, all right, y'all got y'all two pounds of smoked sausage. Oh, the movie is coming to America. Yeah, that's what it was. Is that Is what? that velvet? <laughs> Look it up, bro. I'm telling you, that's what he says. I don't remember that part. That's what it was? No, Alright, no. y'all. So, look, we're making a lot of gumbo. This is a big pot of gumbo we're going to make. Look, you ain't got to have this pot, okay? You, you really don't. Now, for my people that really cook, though, sure Sarah didn't put the link in here, but that's okay. <laughs> don't, don't I got these on Amazon? Yes. How much? Um, I want to say there are, well, it depends on the size. What the hell? How much, baby? I'm just trying to tell. I ain't trying to sell around them. Around 100 is. All right, so around 100 is dollars, y'all. I don't know how you find it on my Amazon, but that's how you, just, if you want, you want this Magnolite pot, cooking your roux, your stews, everything. This pot right here. Now, one of these here pots, y'all, okay, here and all that, and in like 60 years when we ain't here no more, or 80 years, you pass this down to your kids, you know what I'm saying? That's what you do with these Magnolite pots, okay? Now, if you're not used to cooking with a Magnolite pot, you're going to get burned. It's just it's just a fact of the matter. I did it. Sous Chef did it ten times. So, because what happens is you go in on your cooking, you go to grab it like this, and you only do that one time. You you learn right quick after that. No, it's not a copper bottom. It's aluminum, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's all the way aluminum, y'all. See? It just it's just dirty. Like I can't get that off, but... It's aluminum alone. So get you one of these here and all that. If you you know if you, when your money gets right, I'm telling you, I guarantee you're gonna like it. You're gonna be able to, you're not gonna burn your food up either. Like cooks eating, you know what I'm Ooh, saying? Roast is so good. Oh, you put your roast in there, man. You put everything in there. It cooks it even, y'all. So get chicken and dumplings. Oh yeah, right. chicken and dumplings up in there, y'all. 
Where's my uh, door clothes at for this? Hold on, y'all. Let me find my door clothes. Oh, okay. Talking my palm there in the hot though. <laughs> what up, y'all? The spatula is my door clothes. But those pans are awesome for exactly everything. I actually yeah. got mine from my grandma and lots of her recipes. Man, that's awesome. I tell you, man. Boy, that's awesome. I tell you. And then your grandma, you get it from, and then, you know what I'm saying, you're going to pass it down, and it lasts forever. So, it's like a hundred bucks for a mango light pot. It's, it's damn worth it. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, then All he right. asked me to bring the, well, then he asked me to bring out the puppy. You want to bring out the puppy? Yeah, you can bring out the puppy. All right, y'all. Y'all got that two pounds of smoked sausage I told y'all to get? Let me know. You about to get it, big. We about to get there. We're down to the wine now. We're gonna cut up the vegetable, the chicken. Let me wash my hands. Let's when Sarah comes out the puppy and show you the puppy. And then we're gonna cut up that sausage and we're gonna make a roux. And I'm telling you, you write this down. Remember how to do it. Cause like Thanksgiving, Christmas, family events, birthdays, man, it's awesome, okay? Let me wash my hands real quick, Sarah. My sous chef's here. Oh, I brought the cuteness. All right, let me wash my hands. We call him Two Tone Tony. Yeah, Cause his boy, nose two has two different colors. Yeah, two tone Tony. Bro. Two tone Tony. Can you FedEx it to me in Seattle? What's yeah, good? Okay, so John, we have been uh, in the hurricane situation, oh, so boy. we have actually started processing orders today. Oh yeah. So, we're just asking for some patience because we have had either no mail or shipping available. Man, I gotta fly in the house, man. Mm -hmm. No, this is a French stem puppy. So, anyways, we had like limited supplies there for the last couple weeks at the stores and stuff, but oh, we are going that, to. It was ridiculous, y'all. Yeah, it was, huh. it's been insane, but we're getting it back on out. Amazon for a couple of weeks, huh? You're very welcome. Uh, right, so, yes, Frenchie in Boston. Yeah, nobody wants two tone Tony, bro. So we have to see what happens to him. Yeah, we are. We're almost getting back to normal. I mean, it's still kind of slow in the area, but we getting there. We getting there. Love the thumbnail. Yeah. So this is a Boston Terrier and a French Bulldog mix. Frenchton. So it's called a Frenchton, but he has a lot yeah, of Frenchy French fe features. All right, y'all, check this out. If anybody wants two tone Tony, mm -hmm. hit me up on uh, Instagram, Ralph the Bagel One One. Okay. He that's, is precious. That's Frank. That's, that's two tone Tony. I know. I hope whoever gets him keeps his name. That he loves the world, but the world don't love him. Bro. That's how that goes down. Use Bar's Keeper for that pot. Get it at Walmart. Ooh. All right, y'all. All right. Tell everybody bye in the YouTube world, so you can go back to sleep. That's all you like to do is sleep. Take that smoked sausage, y'all. Cut it down like here, like that. Okay. That bitch is hot, so I'm gonna put it down, but like that. All right, bitch. Get your smoked sausage. Now listen. I use swole sausage. I don't know if Big Swole's in here, is he? Um, I don't think so. Big Swole ain't in here. But he's down there from Louisiana, y'all. I'm gonna tell you something. Bullshit you not. Okay? I never knew this until I got his sausage. Man, this dude makes some of the best sausage in the world, bro. I'm telling you. Definitely some of the best sausage I ever had down here in Louisiana, okay? So, when you get that smoked sausage, man, you start smelling it as soon as you open it, you know, and you start defrosting. But when you cook it, you're like, man, I didn't realize how many, you know, when you get that sausage and stuff like that, people go ahead on and they put liquid smoke in there. See, he really still smokes and stuff. That's big swole. So, that's how I got this sausage. That's why you ain't seen me use the traditional smoked sausage because we made some chicken gumbo the other day and I sent it to Alabama. So... But I would always use, man, this bitch hot, some uh, smoked sausage, y'all. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, man, I got three of them. Ain't no need to argue, bruh. Y'all come on down, whoever gets them, you get a personal invitation. You get to choose what you want to eat right here at the table, okay? Fly in, eat good, get your puppy, and then you'll be ready to roll. Ooh, that's hot boy. Right there. 
spicy micro sausages. Travis said, what's up, bro? What's up, Travis? I can't call it today. Okay. It's hanging, man. You can't call shit today. What's wrong with you? Can't call it, baby. Like it's Wednesday, huh? Can't call today. One of them days. Could be better, could be worse. So Why is like your that. sausage hot, they asked? Because this, is not, this was not smoked sausage, y'all. This was green onion sausage that I threw up off and oven and cooked it up because I like big swole sausage. He don't use no fillers and all that stuff. So I ain't have it. This is what I had. But the recipe that I've always my entire life would be to use smoked sausage, okay? So that, that's what this is. Big swole sausage. You down there from Louisiana? Uh, trying to think. I wish I could put y'all a connection and get y'all some because, man, it's even cheap, brother, dude. I'm like, damn, bro, you almost giving that away, man. All right, y'all, it's grind time, baby. Now, go ahead and do this. Big swole sausage. Big swole, bro. What's up, Double D? Telling you, bud. Sir, every time I look around, sous chef, and I need you, you, you out of range and out of business. Baby, I'm sitting here minding my own business, drinking my coffee, and enjoying uh, the time waiting for my girl. All right, y'all, I got to figure out how I'm going to put y'all, y'all. All right, let me, let me put y'all. We getting down to the money now, baby. Who that? Who that? Who that, baby? Dante. What's up? Oh, baby. Yeah. It's Sunday yet? It's not. Ooh, who can see the this? I don't week? know. Oh. That's a good question. All right. So, we got our vegetables, sausage, chicken. We got the rice. We need a pot. We got to get our, oh, our oil. I need a cup of all-purpose flour. My oil. All right, y'all. We here, baby. We're about to make we a shake. All right. First thing first, y'all. Go ahead and five that up, y'all. I mean, your, your stove. All right. Five down about a four. Okay. All right. Can y'all see? Let me know. Or is that too far away? I can bring y'all up in closer. Let me bring y'all closer, man. Hold up, y'all. Let me, let, me, let me bring y'all closer, baby. That's why people were talking smack about New England in the comments. I was wondering why. I must have missed that part. And now I'm out the damn camera messing around with Sarah's. Hold up, y'all. I got to fix y'all for y'all can see the stove, man. Okay. All in your roof. Yes. Yeah. 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 We getting there, baby. All right. If I be like this, y'all can see me. All right. Now, look. That don't matter. I got a little oil here. Take you some vegetable oil. About, about. No, no. That's not vegetable oil. That's olive oil. I'm, I'm, what? Are you the goddamn cooking this on? All right. Are you cooking ahead. this gumbo, baby? Go ahead. Try not to confuse the people, sir. Sorry, I dropped my phone. That was a thousand dollar phone. I just want to talk to garbage can. All right. All right, y'all. Use vegetable oil. Use olive oil. Use whatever oil you want for this this step right here. Not your root. For this step right here. Oh, oh boy, boy. Oh, okay. You oh, confused boy, boy. me. Go to about a little less than a half a cup, y'all. No. Nah. Fire that thing up, like I said, about four, four and a half. Let it get hot for about 15, 20 seconds, y'all. Remember all the vegetables we cut up right here? About to roll them, baby. This is this the point when everybody's going to start running to the kitchen on you, okay? Oh, I smell something cooking. This is when it come, right when the vegetables hit down. All right. So they said, why not butter? Butter going to burn it up, man. Going to burn it up. In my opinion, it gets all burnt and... You know, don't get me wrong, you'll see me add a little butter, but I, you got to put that oil down there, hit it first. All right, you got to hit that, that oil first. About a little less than half a cup. All right, like so. Boom. All right. Beautiful. Y'all can't see in that pot. Let me show y'all right quick. Let me show y'all. Hold up, babe. Look, look at that, boy. That's, that's poo, boy. Now, we're going to do y'all look. We're going to saute that now. 50%. I don't want y'all to saute that down too much now. I'm going to go ahead on and get crazy on me. I'm having a Quran right here. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, I'm about to get my drink on after we make this room and give me a little beverage. Thank Hold you, up. Ms. Kelly. She said this is her favorite YouTube channel. Thank you. All right, y'all. So listen to this, all right? When you got your vegetables in here and you got that oil, okay, go ahead on and don't just let that oil sit there. Go ahead on and coat them vegetables in that oil. All right, like so. You know, completely coat them. And if it ain't enough, if you didn't put enough in there to coat them all away, don't worry about it. I mean, I got enough, but if I need it more, just hit it up. You know, now, now, don't get carried away on it now. But just a little coat, you know? 
like so. Now, let me show you. When they start looking all shiny and all that, I'll show you, babe. Let me not show you. See? I'm about to show you, I'll get burned up again. You want me to come hold, move the camera around for Man, you? Man, you suck, sous chef. Sous chef, whatever the hell you call your you damn self. I love your family. I have a family down the side. I love you cooking. It's awesome. I appreciate it. So, y'all, I'm going to fire this thing up, but let me know. Is anybody cooking this with me or am I cooking this solo? I can go faster, I can go slower. Let me know. Y'all hear that happening? That's what we want, babe. Butter is great for mashed potatoes and carrots. Yeah, right. Can I use peanut oil? Sure. It doesn't burn. You can use some peanut oil. What color is that roof tonight? It's going to be a dark roof or a gumbo, y'all. I'm going to tell you that now. So, if I'm going to make like, uh, let's see, uh, I got a good one like that, that Cajun uh, potato soup I make. That wouldn't be too light. That'd be like a peanut butter look. But for our, uh, our gumbo, y'all, we want that to be nice and dark, okay? I mean, nice, dark gumbo. I guarantee it. All right, they said they're following you step by step. Okay, beautiful. So go ahead on and take our time, y'all. Just let them vegetables cook down, you know, every couple of minutes. Go ahead on and move them around a little bit so they don't burn down on you. Ooh, I think you're going to look at All right, now. Man, I tell you, I hear that listen. Boy, she's happy. Now, right now, you got whatever you had your vegetables in. Keep that close by, as well as a, a, a spoon, you know, with the holes in it. Because we're going to need to take them out of here before we can make that roux. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm just saying, to get ready for that, y'all. Like here. Let me show you. Something like this little handy spoon like that, okay? Just go ahead and put that to the side for you got that. Now, a lot of people, my boy Big Swole was over the other day with his wife, and him and Sarah had their gumbo. They, like I said, they down from Louisiana too. And a couple of hours away from him, shit, we was hanging out, drinking some beverages. We made some gumbo and all. I had a good time. But my gumbo was different than what they used to have. And, you know, uh, almost knocked all the meat off the table. They said uh, that they never had a gumbo where, where you could actually taste the vegetables. But see, me, y'all, I like to have all in vegetables. That's why I say 50%, because at 50%, and you ain't actually dissolving them in the gumbo, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to get little pieces of the onion and, and, and the celery and all that. Now, that ain't going to be too strong and overpowering, but you're going to get that. And uh, that's why I feel like 50% is good. So you don't want to go completely translucent on this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So you have a few people in here that say that they would like to see turtle soup. And we can make some turtle soup. I have to get some uh, turtle from over down the or West Bank. Alligator soup. Alligator soup. Alligator sauce pecan. I made that already, but we ain't did it on live, you know. I'm going to start doing some cooking on live with y'all, because I, you know. You're going to make turtle soup for real? Oh, hell I mean, yeah. I know it's big out here, but. I'm not going to make turtle soup. It ain't going to be fake. I don't even know if I'm going to eat that. Who you want to make that for? You. I'm not. You going to eat it? Make it that for, uh. I ain't never seen Turtle in my life. I've ate turtle in my life, I swear, yo. What? Been a long time ago, but I have eaten it, I guarantee it. Turtle is so good. Turtle is good. Kind of like anything else. You just gotta. I'm with you, this is real life. Why would anyone want turtle soup? <laughs> no, it's good. I'm, you can't underestimate, I'm telling you. Uh uh. I love me some homemade. No, we make it the best. That's right, baby. That's it, man. I'm telling you, boy. This right here, gumbo, y'all. Ooh, boy. Watch what I'm telling you. I'm telling you what. This gumbo, you do it like this here, and I guarantee you, your gumbo gonna be it. the best gumbo you ever tasted in your life. Better than your restaurants and all that. I'm telling you. Yeah, I've had alligator a bunch of times. Alligator, alligator real good, man. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All right, y'all. So we just sweating it down, baby. Yeah, I'm here for the winter. Right. Now, I hope you all are doing well down there. And we're doing good, man. We're doing good. Can't complain. Can't complain at all. Yeah, I'm here for the winter. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, get you a big old snapping turtle, man. I guarantee it's good. Oh, the snapping turtle? Stop it, Ralph. Uh, alligator snapping turtle? You grab by his tail, chop his head off, man. Eat him up. Oh, man, that's so sad. Let the turtles live. They ain't hurt man, the body. I'm talking about that's eating right there. Some people live off the land, you know. We more in the city, but, but they definitely got people that live off the land out there like that. Shit. Right then, you talk about all of these turtles. And it's, oh, now, I, oh. Frog legs are good, Rich. Nah, see, oh, frog legs are good, but not a turtle. Oh. But a little, little pool frog jumping around, living life is good. <laughs> I love turtle soup, but I 
you put fried turtle in your belly. All right, no. Now that I can't say I had, I ain't eat much turtle in my life, you know. I ain't a lot of alligator. Tell you that much, for okay, sure. Okay, are you from Louisiana? Yeah. Turtles, gators, and what else should I try when I come? Turtles and gators and frog legs and soft shell crabs and uh, other than that, some speckled trout, some white trout, and uh, what else? You wanna you wanna eat you plenty of crabs? Not the ones on Bourbon Street, okay? Talk about the fat female crabs out here, all right? Get you some of that. Man, that's some good stuff. Yeah, All kind crawfish. of crawfish. Yo, man, crawfish is a given. Though. But you gotta come at crawfish season. And it depends what part of Louisiana you're going to. Cause look, after, after this TikTok situation I done seen, we do it different now. I'm gonna tell you something. Down in, like I said, we were outside New Orleans, y'all. We do it different than our friends up there in, uh, like, well, like where they from, sir? Huh? Where they from, baby? Like the people that do it a little bit different than us. They in Louisiana. They're closer to Texas. They're like closer to Texas, you know. So it's the strangest thing, man. Cause they they from Louisiana, but like they put like a bunch of bottles of mustard on their crawfish and all that. I just Ooh, don't understand. Oysters, that's a oh good yeah, one. we had that yesterday. Oh boy. That's another good video we can do it on live, you know. That is another good one we could do on live, baby. Yeah, boudin, that's another boudin. good one. Boudin, that's what I'm saying. That ain't got so much. Shoot, you got to go home at least 20 pounds heavier. Let me show y'all where we at, okay, y'all? Let me, let me show you. Lee Jones, yeah, alligator does taste See it, like chicken, but like with a seafood. Like if you can imagine like a seafood flavor, to it, but the texture is like chicken. If that makes sense. It's good stuff, man. Making a list as you speak. That's right. Good stuff. Oh, some barbecue shrimp. Ari's not making the roux yet. We're getting now. The roux, so what we're going to do is you're going to saute down in vegetables, like I said, to 50%. We're going to take that out. Then we're going to go ahead on. We're going to cook up this chicken. We're going to brown it up. We're going to brown up that sausage. We're going to drop them seasoning like it's hot. After that, we're going to put that to the side. Then we're going to get up on that roux. Once we get up on that roof, boy, it's on. Because everything's prepared and ready to roll. We're a couple of minutes out. You're looking awesome and nice and some veggies. Oh, yeah. It's going to be Ooh, good, though. Ooh, I'm lobster mac and cheese. Okay, Ooh, now. hot sausage patty. Yes, that, That's my I thing. I to try hot sausage patty po' boy. Boy, that's, that's something there, boy. You got to have the po' boy. Have it on the po' boy. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting on Domino's some garlic and Fredo with bacon done, Seth. <laughs> All right, now ain't nothing wrong with that. Who washes the dishes and cleans up afterwards? Uh, I'd say we equally do it. What you say, babe? Yeah. Depends on the day, probably, but we equally do it, you know? Yeah. And the teenagers help us, too. And the teenagers, yeah. We, it's kind of like a, a equal force of help around here. Yeah. Everybody kind of helps each other out. She ain't that helping us out. That off the She better be quiet. Yeah, I know. No she ass ain't laughing. What about dishes? I know she ain't laughing around. What? You must have been laughing at something on TikTok or something, yeah, huh? Yeah, I don't know about that. I know the hell she ain't laughing about doing nothing around here. Oh, I just don't doing nothing around here because I've been out for two weeks. Yeah, I right, so love it when you guys do these live cooks. Thank you. We about to get to it, y'all. I'm going to tell you. I was just thinking, I hope he does not touch that hot pan without any lips. <laughs> no, I ain't doing that, boy. I did that many a times, though. I almost did it a minute ago. Get on that redfish. Oh, yeah. I love black and fish, man. So black and catfish, black and redfish, but I love all that. I'll tell you that right now. Right now. <laughs> ben said, I've driven through uh, Louisiana, but unfortunately didn't have the opportunity to enjoy the food, so make sure you clear out the corner of the garage for a day off. <laughs> All right, now, Ben. What's up, Corpus Christi? All right, y'all, we getting somewhere. I'm going to say we have about three to four more minutes on this, okay? Y'all don't overcook your vegetables. You don't want me, they don't want them translucent and soft. We still want them to have a little bit of crunch, so 50%, y'all. I'm going to show you. Um... I learned how to make 
chicken alfredo from scratch because of you, Ralph. Oh, that's awesome. And they made their own pasta, wasn't it? Heck yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I've always wanted to try the recipe, the recipe was amazing. That is awesome. It makes sense not to use butter because of the smoke going. Yeah, you go with butter, man. It's, I love butter. Y'all already know, man. You know what? Don't you use butter with your chicken and sausage, though? Like, I'm going to throw a little bit in there, but, but not a lot. But I'm still going to have all of them. Right, not for the root butt. No. Y'all going to see. We're going to use a little butter, but it's. I'm going to show you. Um, hello, guys. Buyer called another live. This is Amy. Hey, what's up? Let's go. Oh, yeah. We on it, babe. <clears throat> Rocking with y'all from uh, Canada. Alright, Canada. Appreciate you. Definitely appreciate you. I wish I had two cameras. I didn't figure out how to get like a camera that'll be here and like one I could put here looking in the pot at the same time. Can I do something like that? Um when I do my live cooking things? Uh probably I do a techno techno technically smart. That could be done? <laughs> I mean we could barely handle the iPhone. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm sure, could if you, you might have to hire, like, a uh, tech person. Man, I'm just talking about two phones or something, man. And how you gonna switch? I don't know. Oh, uh, look, Jenny put the glasses in here. What's up, Jenny? How you doing? How's my boy Buddy doing? I just cook chicken cake. Yeah. You can right, absolutely man. do that with us. That's what I want to do, man. Then we could be talking and y'all could be seeing inside the pot. See, it'd be a win-win situation. But I'm gonna have to show y'all in this pot when we get to that room. Let's Don't worry about me. The family. Uh, we're from Florida. All right, Florida. Man, man. We're getting somewhere, y'all. I'm telling you. Ooh, buddy just hopped in. Boy, I'm eating a little jambalaya right now. All right, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, brother. That is what I'm talking about now. I'm cooking me a meatball and beef stew. All right, now. We just ate gumbo and double eye and Jimmy said. Okay. Oh, so they did a double whammy with it. Heck yeah, may as well. No point in letting it go bad, you know? All right, Josh, we waiting for them vegetables to get to the 50% point, y'all, which we almost there, Sarah, come see. I'm going to let Sue's chest jump in. All right, now. That's what Muddy said. Let's see what Muddy said. Oh, Muddy said it's all right. Let Sarah mix this up for a second, y'all. Where are you going? The hell is on free. I don't know that's right. Well, right now. Well, I gotta, I gotta keep stirring this? Why not? Just a little bit. I'm gonna carry it away now. I'll do this, but I'm not doing the roux. I burnt the roux. I, no, we I don't we know are definitely not, not letting Sarah do no roux. I guarantee it. Say that right now. Wait, hold on. Chad's from June Baby, bro. What's up? What's up, June Baby? I couldn't eat snake. Nah, snake's something I can't oh, say I ever had. Oh, someone said a snake burrito. Jimmy. Sorry, I need you to like spread that out, man. I don't want you to pile it up like that. What you gonna do? I don't know what you Spread it me? all out evenly, baby. Oh. Well, I know how to saute vegetables, okay? Stupid. Shit, that's, that's a lie. I'll tell you that right now. You about to get slapped with the food. That's a damn lie, y'all. I made scallop and lobster rolls. I wish I was cooking. Oh, yeah. I'm going to burn the roux. Scallops and, uh, scallops and lobster rolls? Ooh, fried cabbage. Oh, yeah. The whole family came over to eat after volleyball, Jenny said. Oh, that's awesome. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good time. Aw, that's so nice. I hope they all liked it. It was probably even better because it was, like, made a couple days before, so all this flavor yeah. in it. Was it good, Jenny? You think she's going to be like, oh, that, that was disgusting. Oh, uh, yeah, save them turtles, bro. That's right. Get your alligator snapping curls. Grab that son of a bitch by the tail. That's What's awesome. up, Trey? Yeah, hey, guys from South Carolina. Carolina. I bet what? Rob can make some boudin yeah, or make you slap your mom. Trey? Trey? Yeah, oh, he does have like a crawfish boudin ball recipe, yeah, I think, on YouTube. That's so good. I love how they keep it real and simple and not try to do too much garlic. Yet. No, we can't be acting crazy around you. You know, because what happens is, y'all, if you do that, then it starts... Getting stupid, you know, it's, it's, it ain't right. Well, because then it's like you're not who... Like, I can't be like, oh, I got this special gumbo. Only I make. You know, everybody makes it different. But, you know, teach them. I just keep it Vegas. high. Vegas. Jay, we going to Vegas? Vegas, baby. I want to go to Vegas. I thought this was green onion. I don't know what the hell this was. 
No, that's not green onion. I only took out the plain sausage. Oh, this is just plain? Yeah, just regular sausage, fool. Is that churro? You hungry, babe? Yeah. Spread the veggies right. out. I'm coming. I got mine in the pot. I'm cooking right, right now along with you. I got my RTV Cajun seasoning. All okay. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Now you're going to need that. Look, I got it right here. If y'all ain't got that seasoning, y'all already know we're back up and running. Bakers101.com. Hit it up. That's the seasoning they're talking about right there. Okay, baby, on your chicken and dumplings. Yes. Do you roll your dumplings or do you just drop them in? It's a good question. So, both ways, I think on the video I made, I went ahead on and I think I want to say I made them in little chunks that time, little balls. But you can also roll it out, get your pizza cutter, cut them up in slices, you know what I'm saying? Little pieces like like a little quarter inch thick, about so long, about an inch and a half long, or half a long, you want them really, and drop them in like that if you want, you know? All right, these vegetables are about good. I'm going to show y'all where we at, see y'all. No. Oh my God, iguanas. Now, they do yeah. that in Florida. They eat them? Oh, all day. All right, you talk about guanas? <laughs> oh, God. I'm a guanas. I better not. I kill them for a living. Look, get, get out of here, boy. We ain't got no guanas out here. Oh, I saw two of them. They You're ran away them. as soon as he saw me. They said in the video you just chunked them up. Yeah. Actually, you caught them up. both ways. You can yeah. like my don't look like noodles. Or you can get yeah. a fish one and hit a hole. Okay, baby. And like a hole and you... Uh -huh. Try them on the neck. Oh, very nice. Okay. Well, we got a Alright, y'all. I think we about... Let me do another minute. Yes, Miss Ginger. You could use the spicy seasoning if you yeah. want it spicy. Yeah. Just use a little lighter because you don't want your gumbo too spicy. Now, you don't want to get carried away on it. I mean, I unless you like it spicy. Yeah, now if you like it spicy, roll with it. Iguana eat every day of the week here in Miami. Oh, my God. Yeah. Stop saying iguanas. You know I'm a fan of iguanas. Oh, yeah, we know you are. I catch two thousand lizards every day. Yes, you do. You're the best lizard catcher I know. All right, y'all. Well, probably, yeah. I catch Ooh, two Dad put time. some rabbit, turtle, garfish patty. All right. Matter of fact, Big Swole gave me some uh, gar sausage. I ain't tried it, though. Ooh. Mommy, is this um, pizza rolls are so good? Uh, yes, but you guys All right, y'all. I'm still hungry. It's pickle flavor. Yeah, I think we all feel that way right now. So, all right, I'm warming up some of the field. Um, I know you got it smelling good in there. Yes. Turn that heat ever... down. It's like one or two, y'all. Just, just turn it down. I get these vegetables out, okay? Okay, so Jolie, the pot that Ralph is using is called a Magnolite pot. And they have them like on Amazon and stuff. Bro, I got them on Amazon. I found them cheap and everything. You ain't put the link in there. You raggedy, bro. I swear, man. I try, y'all. I swear I do. You don't try. You can do it, you know. You can I don't know how to do it. I would. Okay. So I got them on Amazon because I found them in a good place. Where I got this nice reasonable price, but I don't know where to take a look at now. Have you ever been to Mississippi? Oh, yeah. I've been to Mississippi. I even been kicked out of Mississippi. <laughs> he wasn't. I was banned from the state of Mississippi five years. Oh, God. Why did I bring this up? All right, y'all. Look. Okay? Let me show y'all so you know what we're talking about. This is what we're talking. Y'all take a look at this. Take a screenshot. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to show y'all this. Y'all see how it's not translucent all the way? You know what I'm talking about? It's hot, hot, hot. But see what I'm talking about, y'all? Trying to get out the light for y'all to see. Y'all rough is a vibe. Look, like, y'all. Y'all see what I'm talking about? It's not 100% translucent, but like, you know what I'm saying? About 50%. That's what we want, okay, y'all? So, go ahead on with this. Put it to the side now. All right, now look at this. Grab some butter, sir. All right, y'all watch this now. Check it out. Take a little bit more of that peanut oil, olive oil, vegetable oil, not a lot. Quarter of a cup or less. About like so. About a quarter of a cup. No, Jay, the roux hasn't been made yet. No, we're getting to the roux, babe. We're getting there. Okay. Fire it up to, like, level five, okay? All right. Come on, mate. I got it. All Thank right, you, so, Miss Kelly. Look, get your hair about this much butter. About two tablespoons? Oh. Chill about that much butter, okay? Throw it in your pot. All right. What now, kind of hat you got on this side? Oh, this is my New Orleans, Louisiana hat. I got it from the store up there. I really don't like these hats because you said they like big like this in the back. I don't wear them kind of hats, but 
I ain't had no more hats, and beggars can't be choosers, so I had to get that. Ten dollars. <laughs> Go ahead on and drop that meat up off of me, y'all. All right, look. Chicken first, not your sausage yet. Here, sous chef, take that, baby. All right, listen. Let me, let me show you. Hold up. Now, let's spread it out, but I want to show y'all. Let me show you what I did now. Let me show you, baby. Oh, Sammy, you gonna get what him up? kicked out of Louisiana and talk about use hot dogs instead of sausage. Oh, uh, my Cajun seasoning, if you got it, and I know a lot of y'all do, hit it now. Look. Hey, Michael. I'm gonna say about this much, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. Okay? Now, on top of that, hit it with that garlic powder. All right? One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna need these seasonings, so don't put them back up yet now. Onion powder. That's onion powder, y'all. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. So Ralph measures in time and not uh, yeah, I'm rolling time. <laughs> rolling time, bro. Black pepper, y'all. You gotta have a little black pepper. Not too much. Like Something like this. Vincent, I took that cutting board perfectly. See, okay. I'm doing a good, I'm being a good sous chef. And then you get your old bell. No, I'm playing. No, I have. Oh. I really get kicked out of Louisiana. I'm just messing with y'all. They All said right, I only counted three seconds, bro. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's some fast ones. Yeah, so Michael, he's actually cooking right now a chicken and sausage gumbo. So I have right no seafood in this. This is kind of like. A cheaper, they have seafood gumbo and chicken and sausage gumbo out here that's very popular. So this doesn't have any seafood um, ingredients. So this would work well for you if you can't do shellfish. Yeah. And this ain't gonna cost you much, man. I mean, I don't know how many people you can feed with this, but I guarantee it's a lot of people. Let me show y'all. Let me show you what I'm at. Hold on, let me show y'all inside the pot, awesome? okay? Hold up. Wait, let me move out your way. Let me show you inside the pot. Look, see, I got that chicken right there spread out, y'all. We're going to go ahead on and cook that chicken up. We want it completely cooked. Okay? Listen, I love your uh, channel. I appreciate it, y'all. I need some of that Cajun seasoning. Yeah. Bakers101.com. Get you some of that seasoning. We put out a ton of orders to March. We did get behind with that uh, hurricane, but we good now. Good. Um, Gerald, no. When, I, when we went to the post office, they didn't have anything there. No. And then with the hurricane and everything, it's even been more messed up. But I know you sent it a while ago. Um. All right, y'all. So now we're browning up that chicken, babe. Now, what we're going to do is when that chicken's almost done, we're going in there with them two pounds of sausage. Y'all going to see. And then we're on to the room. Jones, that is, a, this is very far stretched from jambalaya. Yeah. No, that's two totally different meals. Uh, but we'll do jambalaya online one day, too. But I got a video on that jambalaya. Y'all gonna have a lot of leftovers. Oh, no oh, doubt. So, Justin asks, why are you doing the chicken first? Because the chicken's raw completely, and your sausage is using smoked sausage, so it's already pre cooked, okay? So, you don't wanna burn your sausage up, but you do wanna brown it. We're going to. But our chicken's raw, so we need to go ahead on and cook that completely up. And when it's almost completely cooked, that's when we're going in with that sausage and brown that too, okay? Oh, boy. Um, you guys have the best accents ever. I sound like a Thank true you. Californian saying bro and dude and whatnot. <laughs> hey, all right, now. That's we fun. appreciate it. Man, um, boy. Man, I'm telling you. My fiance and our three kids. That's awesome. They can eat. Ooh, we know that feeling. Shh, I'm telling you, man. And let me tell you, gumbo ain't expensive to make. Maybe like, uh, like a big pot like this might cost you about 10, 15. About twenty something dollars. Y'all know how much I can sell this pot of homemade gumbo for down here? I don't know how much, but it's some good money. And I guarantee it. Um, so <clears throat> I'm sorry, so Letty, they okay, so the sausage is uh smoked sausage, just a regular smoked sausage. Usually it's like it's a beef like or a pork blend mix. Uh smoked sausage. I don't know what y'all get out there, but that's typically what we use for gumbo. Now Ralph got some yeah. like real homemade, like authentic. Y'all get some bro from Big Swole. I just gotta get his information. You got his you got his number I can call him on speaking? I do not. I do you not. got Sarah's number? I do not. Oh you ready, bro.
Thanks for the answer. I can't afford it right now, but I love that big pot. But I don't got electricity. I just made chimichangas for dinner. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, that sounds good. Yes, indeed. All right, sous chef. I'm going to need something. Cody sent over Canadian $5. Thank you, Thank Cody. You, Cody. I used to watch this old man cook. He always said, guarantees the Louisiana love the accent. Oh, and he's about Justin, Justin Wilson. Wilson, man, the old legend. Oh, look. Oh, Swole's on here. Big Swole, baby. What's up? Wait, he gave me about. the number. He gave you the number? Wait, hold. Oh, I don't know if. Pen you want me to put that on live? Yeah, pin his comment, man. Oh, All okay, right. okay. I'm going to pin his number, y'all. Y'all call Big Swole, man. I'm telling you, for that sausage. This ain't no... Uh, but he might have been sending it so you can call him. Oh, let me know. So, that's but Why is it not job. on your phone, but I see it on mine? That's the truth, man. I'm telling you. Oh, I got to I gotta mess around and get an order in that because I didn't use all my damn sausage. And, man, that's unbelievable. I can't tell you how much the, he done gave me. Wait, I can't find it on yours, but I can see it on mine. Dang it. Am okay, hold it? on. I'm going to have to write it down. Hold on. Now look, this that this, this big swole, y'all. This ain't like I said. This ain't paid advertisement on that. I'm just telling y'all, if you want some real sausage, without the fillers, real smoked sausage that he smokes down in the smoker. I guess it's called a smoker house or a smoker shed. I don't know because I don't do it. It's a pretty awesome process. I've seen it on pictures, but uh, it's the truth, man. It's, it's like it's different, bro. You'll see. Get you a few packs of it, about a good two, three packs, and watch. You'll be back for more. It ain't like you know. It ain't like what you get in the store. I don't know how to explain it. Like, you know, it's, it's different, you know? Okay. Like I said, I wish you was on Uber Eats. Man, me too. Yeah, yeah, right? Me too, man. <laughs> All right, wait, hold on. I'm writing this number down for you. You want All me to right. call him? Yeah, either call him or ask him how people could get in touch with him if they want some of that sausage or is he offering that? Let me know. Because if he is, man, these people will love their sausage. I guarantee it. Okay. Does he ship? That's what I'm trying to see right now, y'all, because, man, I'm telling you. I've been in Louisiana all my life, and I ain't never had Sasha that good. And I think it's because from when I was talking to him, and I was telling him, man, you know, how does it smell like that smoky flavor and all that and taste like it and smells like it? And he told me that uh, he says what happens is that they use a smoke, uh, like to get the smoky flavor and the stuff we buy at the store, he said that they use a, uh, a liquid smoke. I never knew that, man. Well, I said, man, they've been ripping us off all this time. Yes, it makes sense, though. Alright, the number left of us for tomorrow will be great. The temperature will be around 55 degrees. Hell yeah. That's right. Alright, let me show y'all. Right. Now, I want to show y'all something. When your chicken looks like this right here, we can go up on there with that sausage, alright? Let me show you. Hold up. No quiet. Louisiana has a smooth sausage. Y'all see that chicken? How much it's cooked like that? That's how we want it, baby. Alright, like that. Now, now, I say that's about 80% cooked, okay? Now, I got them two pounds of that, that sausage from Big Swole. Did you ask him if he ships and if he, if, if what's what? Um, I could call him. Yeah, call him up. All right, um, look. Justin sent you a Canadian 15. Cheers, Justin, guys. thank you. I appreciate Once it. Once you're cooking up, it looks great. I hope things get back to normal ASAP, too. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate the love and support, too. All right, that's my Cajun seasoning, y'all. Look, about a good three seconds. One, two, three. So I'm going to get too carried away on it now. All right? Because we got I a few like times. I new measurement of uh, timing it instead of... <laughs> that's the best way to do it, man, because that's going to be the most realistic way. Ooh, boy, y'all. I wish y'all could smell through the phone, boy. I tell you. All right, my people cooking it. Where y'all at? How's y'all process looking? How's things looking for y'all? Let me know. Yeah, it's calling on speaker right. for you. Let me call Big Swole and see what he's saying. What's See about the reason? sausage for y'all, man. I'm telling you. Gumbo. Making gumbo. Yes. Chicken and sausage gumbo. I want the seafood gumbo, but we're going to wait, like, because that's expensive. Ain't going to lie. So, probably that, that, that around expensive. Thanksgiving. It probably cost you about a good 80. Yeah, oh, he might not. Might know. be busy. He'll call back. About a good, like, 80, depending on the price of up. seafood. 80 plus dollars for a pot of gumbo yeah, for seafood. I guarantee it. All we're going to have left to do once we brown this sausage, y'all, and brown this chicken is make our damn roux. We're going to put that meat to the side. We're going to make that roux right here in the same pot. We did our vegetables. We browned our meat. We're going to make our roux. All them flavors in there, y'all. Ooh, man, I tell you that. Right now, it's going to be good. I'm telling you. 
Alright. Oh, good. okay, so he said any local orders. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need okay. some shipping. Oh, okay. He said where he's trying to work out the process of shipping. We're going to talk about it this weekend okay. when it gets to the highest. Any local orders in our area, he can make it and drive it to us, to our area, to the, to the street. Yeah, so same right now, Louisiana. Think he'll be able to ship out of let, let us figure out how he can, you know, ship it out, y'all. Because, man, I'm telling you something, y'all. Man, it's good, y'all. It's, it's, it's like sausage you can't just get anywhere. You can't. Matter of fact, you can't get it nowhere. I'm telling you, it's hard. It's hard. I ain't never had none. Yeah, when I tried that, I said, Lord, that's good, man. I got to order me quite a few pounds because, uh, Sarah, I tell you, I use it every day. Okay. Me and my spaghetti was delicious, Nate said. All right. That's what I'm talking about now. All right. Let's see. You have to put it offset. That way you don't get the old, oh, the, the steam on the lens. Um... I need to get me a camera. I'm going to get it figured out. I'm going to put some right here for y'all to see this and see that. We have it going two ways. We're about to make that roux, and then it's on. But look, y'all, so look at look at them vegetables. Y'all see how far, how far we cooked them down? So they're not, like, mushy or nothing yet, but they about halfway there. That's where you want to be. I was always cooking good southern food. Miss Ralph, what is your favorite dish Appreciate of it. all time that Ralph makes? Ooh. I don't know. That's so hard. Probably any, like a pasta laia is one of my favorites he makes. Potato pasta soup lie. is a really, really big one, favorite of mine. Um, shucks, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I eat everything. I'm not a picky but eater. But what's your, like, favorite? Like, man, that was good. Damn. I'm going to tell you what, that seafood lasagna you did. That bitch was good. Was so so amazing. I ate like 20 plates. It was good, y'all. Alright, we about to get another pot for to put that in. But I'm so, like such a not picky eater. I'll eat anything. So I really eat. Have your stuff ready to put it in. I'm sorry I didn't tell y'all to have that. Get all your stuff you want for whenever we're ready. We can just go ahead and transfer it because this is the pot we're using for everything, y'all. From down to y'all seeing it sauteing the vegetables to browning the chicken, to cooking the chicken, browning it, browning your sausage, all that. And we're going to make the roux in that, okay? Everything, y'all. Okay? So, have your pot for your vegetables. Have your pot for your chicken and your sausage, all right? A couple minutes here, we're going to be rolling. Or a bowl. Or a bowl. I ain't got bowls like that. You so. got bowls all over there on top of the refrigerator, folks. I'm not big enough for that. Yeah, I guess I do. Why don't you just buy a roux? I mean, you could buy a roux. There's a plenty a of roux times. A roux you get in the jar is not going to be as good as the roux you're going to make. Yeah. Now, I mean, like, we've used Kind of like anything else in life. A plenty of times, like, in a pinch. And they got some good ones, like, pre-made ones, but... But it ain't hard to make. You can do it yourself. Yeah, but if you got the time to home... I mean, I can't make a homemade roux. Well, sorry, I tried it the other day. I tried it the day before the storm, and it did not go well. So I would use a pre-made roux if it was going to be But it's mixed. not hard, so please... It's what happened was Sarah got nervous when it started smelling burnt. I did, and I kept thinking in my head, okay, Ralph said, just keep going, even when it smells burnt. And I was like, this bitch looks real burnt. I ain't going to be trusting Ralph the baker on this. And I should have, because then I messed up the roof. Um, this is the first gumbo. It looks good to me. There you this go. Good, trust me. I don't, I don't eat my gumbo with work. rice. Why you know? Oh, we like it with oh, rice. Speaking of that, I, well, I'll get my rice on in a few. Yeah, you got time to get your rice on. Oyster dressing time too. Oh yeah. Ooh, now Ralph's mama makes some really good oyster dressing. She makes it every year for Thanksgiving because it's Ralph's dad's favorite. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, Swole's calling now. Okay. Okay. The voice room is good. Yeah, I've had that. That's okay. Another crackling video. Oh, yeah. Here, baby. What's Hello? Up, Hello? What's up? What you up to, man? Wait. Oh, on man. Yeah, I was wondering if you was uh, going to be able to ship, but like you said, local, and we're talking about it this weekend and figure that out. I was telling people about your sausage while I was using it.
Yeah, yeah, definitely. We're gonna figure it out this weekend, and uh, so they get their hands on some, you know. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm talking about. All right, brother, I appreciate it. I'm gonna definitely let them know. <laughs> All right, brother, I'll let him. Let him. All right, y'all. So we'll figure it out on that. So Double D, Ralph, I can answer this. Isn't the biggest fan of cooking with okra? He loves okra and he loves recipes with okra, but putting it in the gumbo, he's not the hugest fan of doing it himself. Right? And if you do it, you gotta really know how to make it not slimy for me to want it. Yeah. All right, chicken's completely cooked. Sausage a little brown now. Go ahead on. Let's get it out of there. Turn that fire down to like two. Low, low, low. Leave that juice behind, okay? Look, look at that juice right there. Leave that juice, hit it like here. All right, leave that juice behind. Not all of it, but you know, just whatever, whatever. Mama Ralph needs to make a guest appearance. Oh, yeah. Has mom ever been on before? Um, She's been on your TikTok lives. I don't think she's ever been on a YouTube live before. Yeah, we're going to have to get mom over. Ooh, smothered okra sounds really good. Daddy? Oh, yeah. We love fried okra. Oh, man, I love fried okra. I think you did a video on that. that I, yeah, I did. It was so good. Fried okra's real good. All right, so Brandy, he is cooking. He, do, he did uh, the Trinity. Celery, bell pepper, onion. Baby, you gotta admit. Um, he sauteed that up about halfway and put him to the side. So basically when you're pre, I'ma just be like the narrator, hold on. So when you cook it all up like this, you get in your pot seasoned for that root ahead of time. She knows got, a thing or two. See, I know I be watching, I just can't do it, but I can explain it. See what I'm saying? So you're getting that, like they got some drippings in there that's gonna go with your roux and you get your pot seasoned with all these good flavors from the veggies and the meats that's right. gonna marinate in with the roux. All right, that is right. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta brown your okra so don't be slimy. Yeah, and you gotta know how to do it, man. Not everybody know how to do that. If y'all love about Rain, Louisiana, there is a meat market that sells their own smoked sausage. Okay. All right, thank you. I hate okra and gumbo. Yeah, well, I'm not the biggest fan because most people, man, they got it slimy and I just don't like it. You know? I love fried okra now. That's my name, Brandy. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. That was weird. <laughs> okay, I'm in Alabama. I know some things, but not gumbo. But chicken gumbo, right. okay. I'm going to try it. Yeah, it's yeah. good, Brandy. It's amazing. You'll love it. I'm going to show y'all what we're leaving behind. It's too. not that hard. No. You got this. And the good thing is Ralph has... A few gumbo videos you can refer to and the live saves on here so you can always go back and watch it and fast forward it so if you need let me show y'all guys look direction. what we're leaving behind and we're gonna start this rule but look see what we leave behind y'all see that juice right there little bitty pieces or maybe a couple of vegetables maybe a little bit of chicken not too much but y'all see what I'm talking about like that all right y'all now we get down to where it really matters so let's go Oh, Gallon said, hey, Ralph, been watching you for a while, but never said hello, hey. but I'm watching now. Thank, Thank you. I you. appreciate it. All right, let me think, y'all, how I'm going to set this up. I'm, you want to hold the phone so I can show them the route this whole time, and then y'all might start hurting because it'll be like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I can just hold the uh, tripod so it don't mess anything up. How you going to do that, man? All right, y'all, hold on, because I'm going to show you how to make this route. I'm going to have to hold it up in the air. Give me the vegetable oil. You guys, on. Yeah. You guys, I only need, like, a little bit. That juice is flavor. All right. Vegetable oil, sir. Vegetable oil? Yeah. Now, when we come down that room, y'all, we're going with the vegetable oil. No more, no more. Oh, Lord, I was about to pick up vegetable oil. Sorry, about to give us Fabuloso. <laughs> crazy, mother, man. Mother, mother. Vegetable oil. Yeah. 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 Typical uh, vegetables that we use in a lot of our recipes here in Louisiana is bell pepper, celery, celery onion. and onion. I like it. All right, so Trinity. Rinse this out for me. Sarah, rinse that out for me. Okay. 
You're an amazing club. Keep it up. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. What's up, Utah? Nah, look. Y'all don't get no great value all, bro. I do not do I great value. Good. I'm just playing, y'all. It don't matter. <laughs> Mommy? All right. All right, y'all. One, one, one cup. Mommy, up. Oh, good job. Okay, please don't make a mess with Beautiful. this. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. baby. Hold the tripod. Well, all right, y'all. I'm going to get y'all in because I want y'all to see it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make this here a rope. Let's see what it looks like, okay? You're welcome, guys. Oh, that's so, Go in there with that one cup of oil. Wait, you uh, want me to show them now? Or yeah, you want to show them now. Kick your heat up to three, y'all. Hey, y'all, I'm going. There ain't no way you holding that for 15, 20 minutes like that. I'm going to take a break in between. They just going to have to go up and down. All right, y'all. So I got my heats on three. I just put one cup of that vegetable oil in there with them drippings. Look at that there. Look. Shoo, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Check it out. All right. Now, while that's going to head on and getting heated up real quick, what I want y'all to do is get one cup of all-purpose flour. All right. Let me do that, too. So not the self-rising flour like you accidentally did? No, but it works. It did work. I it couldn't works. believe it. Damn right it but worked. don't do it. It ain't worth the extra no, issues. Do I accidentally did it. It was I a little bit of a fluffy roux, though. That's all right. <laughs> but it still works. Ralph got the wrong flour at the pantry and didn't realize it. And he used self-rising flour. And he was like, shit, I don't know how this is going to turn out. But it still tasted the same. It just had a little fluff to it. <laughs> All right. Y'all hear that, Del? You see them little bubbles right there and all that, Del? Let me know. All right. Now, all right. Take you one cup of all-purpose flour, Okay. In the pot. Yeah, that drives that. me nuts. All right, y'all, look. Go ahead on and mix that all up right here, right now. Your heat is on three, guys. Don't go, don't, just low and slow, baby. Don't get crazy on me now. Use your pan right there, your pot, I mean. No, push it against like so. Get all them chunks out of there, okay? Um, We typically use yellow onion a lot. I mean, I'll use any onion, but yeah, yellow is what I go for. Yeah. Hi, Ralph. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to read the comments, too, and hold the tripod up for y'all. So y'all just bear with me. All right, y'all. Get them clumps out of there by pulling it back to you. See how I'm pulling it? Hold on, y'all. I know she's doing her best, but I want to show y'all. See how I'm pulling it back right there to the end right here? I'm smashing it again. Oh, you smashing it, y'all. And splashing it? Yeah. Smashing and splashing, baby. All right, y'all see it bubbling up right there and all that? Look. Look at that. Now we need it to get dark, baby. Why, See that, though? Why, why That's what it should look like at this point. Yellow onions better for cooking. Yes. That's two burner pot. I'm going to have to invest in one. Love this video, yummy. You're doing a good job. Thank you. I appreciate it, y'all. Oh, wait. I already said that. Tell Ralph, you need a raise for multitasking. That's, <laughs> That's right. true. What, baby? Why You can have a little bit of them because I got to make some. What the hell is she doing, man? I thought y'all looking at the pot. Y'all looking oh, at my I'm head. I'm sorry. I was talking to Parker. Oh, have mercy. I looked up. I was like, what the hell? All right. So my multitasking skills are not good. Because I can't see where it's pointing. Right, I'm going to fire it up a little bit. Y'all don't do that. Go to three. Keep it at three, y'all. Moving it around like this, look. Okay? Like that, yeah? Catching them corners, babe. Let me get eight eyes. I'm hungry. Oh, Asmir sent you over 10. Love from St. Louis, Missouri. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you. Look at that, y'all. Check that out, babe. Y'all see that, though? That's live cooking. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, boy, that's going to be a good rule. I'm going to tell you now. Because y'all got to remember all that stuff we put, the sausage, the chicken, the trinity. Thank all them flavors is up in this rule right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to set y'all down and see Ralph. And when the roux gets, like, to the next phase starts, of yeah, color, I'll show y'all as it changes in, like, color and consistency and stuff. I'll show you those things. Um, all right, so Justin asks, what's up, Ed? Um, what kind of consistency are you looking for? It kind of looks like a... Uh, when it is where we want it to be, y'all, it's gonna kind of look like, kind of like motor oil almost. Be what I would it be closer because this is y'all can tell you. Are you making it that dark? It's gonna be damn dark, you know. It ain't gonna be peanut butter. It's gonna be black. 
It's going to be dark. I'm going to show you. Um, you know, like I said, it depends what you're cooking, your roux, what you're making it for. It's going to kind of be a little pasty. Uh, consistency, I guess, is the best way to explain it. Yeah, you just watch. I know y'all probably. It's not gonna be super liquidy, but it's not gonna be no. super floury, like a loose paste, maybe. Yeah. The darker the better. Yeah, it's gonna be a good old dark root now. And that all depends, you know. If you get nervous or scared, and and you feel like, all right, I pushed this root as far as I feel comfortable doing. It's my first time, whatever. Your gumbo is still gonna be good, okay? I promise. But get that puppy dark now. Get it with just a little bit of smoking. Starting to smell a little bit better. said the color, not the, uh, I mean the consistency, not the color. Oh, I thought they well, were the color. I already said it. It's okay. okay. I already yeah. said it. Um, I feel sorry for the kids that are lazy parents that don't cook. My kids, my dad's from Tennessee and would cook up a storm growing up. Hell oh, yeah. Got to cook. So like dark chocolate? Uh, uh, that might be a bit Maybe extreme. like. Let's say milk chocolate. That's dark. Dark, baby. I'm going dark. You're going to say I y'all are back making videos. Thank How do you. I order your seasonings? Uh, check out the website, y'all. We're back up and running. Bakers101.com. I would say it was in the bio or whatever you call that, but it probably ain't. But it's Bakers101.com. Yeah, that's that link is in the bio. It's oh, in the okay. uh, description of the video. All right, we're moving up on in life here. Yeah. Uh -uh, um, last time I tried to cook gumbo, the roof caught fire, and I had to replace a vent. The hell high hell you caught your room on fire, oh, huh? Oh, Lord. Oh, what's up, pot. Trinidad? Got to use that pot, man. Take your time. Low and slow, babe. Have you ever been to Morgan City? Yeah, I've been to Morgan City. Not a bunch of times, though. Many moons ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Long, long time ago. Yeah, last time I made that stuff, I effed up by not letting the flower cook less than moon. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a learning deal, but we're doing it together, so we're going to all get it. What? Shout out from yeah, we'll Gary, Indiana. What's up, Indiana? Wine What's up, Wine What's up, from Utah? Caramel. Darker than a caramel color. Like, milk, probably milk chocolate would be the best. Yeah, milk chocolate. Yeah. Somewhere's around there. Um, Daddy? Um, oh, that's so sweet, Justin. Wishing everybody the best. Hey, Dad. Thank you. I just want to my daughter is a fan. Oh, awesome. Can you shout out to Destiny Martinez, please? What's up, Destiny Martinez? What's going on? We appreciate you. We're glad you're enjoying the channel as well. So, y'all, your arm might hurt a little bit, you know what I'm saying? When you're done, if you ain't used to it, you know? It's all good in the hood, baby. Just keep on moving it, you know? Oh, Brandy asked if you could shout out to Say Say. What's up, Say Say? That's her daughter. How you doing? Um, red beans and rice. Yes, yeah, so Ralph has a video when you go to his main page, uh, you'll see the red beans and rice video up there. Um, oh yeah, Ralph works, yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, Ryan, he works in the, basically here, he has an online website where he sells his, hey, you crazy boy, seasonings and baked Preston, goods. go in another room, baby, you can't have that loud YouTube, TikTok, whatever you got on, boy, go. He's trying to stop video. it. I'm not getting that in the video. Um, thank you, Aaron. Is it Robert's are my favorite? Hey, we appreciate it. I lived in New Orleans for six months. Fell in love with the food. Oh, yeah. I'm telling Cajun you. Cajun boys that go dark, Ralph. Oh, we are. The roof. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. We definitely are. Oh, Jonathan, he did a blooming onion. Oh, yeah. Already. He's got a video up. It's a, I think it's a short video. It's good, though. But it's good. You. It is so, good, man. You take me back to Nolan, bro. Oh, wait. I read that one. We love your channel. She is so happy. She said, <laughs> he said my name. Oh, Aww. that's awesome. All right, y'all. We're getting somewhere. I'm going to show you. I love the candy. They sell OMG best ever, Armando says. Thank you. We appreciate it, Armando. Uh, Kenneth, so the recovery around here is slow. slow. Low and slow like this roof. Yeah, very slow. They don't want to pick up no trash, man, so we got an issue going down. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird situation that I don't understand versus other storms. So we're in Jefferson Parish. We're like less, like around five minutes from the New Orleans Parish, Portland, and um, New Orleans is better than our area, 
just a smidge. And so New Orleans is pretty good I mean, in my college. Wall right now. However, we're like, we're like, there's no trash pickup for like a whole month. So everybody's like going And then hand. they're picking up the cans, but not the bags. Yeah, because people have like a month of trash. And everything was lost in the storm. And debris and trees. That was really slow. FEMA ain't done crap for nobody. FEMA ain't done nothing. And wrong. most insurance companies and adjusters haven't even made it out to most people's properties. To even like so they can get their stuff going. Stores... Like, right now, our stores only have, like, limited supply. It's getting a little bit better now. Yeah, I went down to Popeye's. They're, like, limited supply, man. They don't have to rip us off, man. I'm like, nah. Mm -hmm. It's a month after the storm, bro. If you ain't got your supplies by now, go ahead on and shut this um, so shut it down. I told Sarah, go ahead. I have to go to McDonald's. I'm not doing limited supply. Because you know what that means? That means you could buy seven or eight two-piece chickens, but you can't sell me a 16-piece family meal, man. Nah. You can sell me the same thing for seventy dollars. Right, you could get eight two-piece meals, but you can't get a sixteen-piece. You can't get a family meal, man. Hell no, man. You getting scammed, bro? Um, I don't, Rich. I don't really know if it's. I don't really think it's our local state officials' fault. Ah, uh, throw it away. Oh man, I don't really, cause they approved any resource to be given to be done. Like Ain't they requested no, no. full resource from like FEMA and stuff. I guarantee What it. was approved, I don't really know. We didn't have like any real damage so we didn't like really need or qualify. I lost all my food, bro. I could have qualified for something. Yeah, I mean, we like we lost food and stuff, but Sarah acts like that ain't nothing. But I mean like, people like lost lost stuff. No, yeah. So they're they like needing the either. FEMA insurance money. We're not in that boat, so I don't I really know, know personally. So I don't know. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Like you go to Walmart, you're gonna stand in like a, a hour line to get in, and they're like only allowing so many people in at a time. Reason? Sure, we it's real just quick. weird. I don't. I'm gonna know. just show y'all where we at because y'all know how long we've been doing. Look, we ain't even there yet. We definitely ain't there. So Ryan, so if you'd like to check out his website, um, it is in the comments. I mean, I'm sorry, it's in the description, bakers101.com. So he has a, a online-based bakery where right he's able to me. ship. Oh, sure, them right now. Um, and, you know, throughout the United States, he also has a seasonal line. This is his like his typical cake, like his That's what regular loves, Cajun man. seasoning. So he has a seasoning line as well, so that you guys can spice up your food. So no. we're not allowed to burn trash. Our neighbor started to burn trash. Man, the fire department. The whole freaking fire department came running through our backyard and we're like, so I guess somebody like reported them or something, my neighbor. And they were like, who's burning trash? And we're like, I don't know. It's not us. And then so they figured out who it was because they could see it. And it was our neighbor next door. And um, no, we are not allowed to burn trash around here. So, um, I'm sorry, guys. So like a color of dark hair syrup or is that too dark? I reckon I'll feed that soon. Yeah, that'd be good. That's a good, good, good. That's a good. I like that. I like that. That's real good. That's damn close to where we want to be. The same color and almost the same consistency almost is the dark k syrup. That's right. It's a good one. Now, who said that? Uh, uh, Brandy said that. All right, Brandy. That's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, to go through all this panorama stuff and this. That's true, Warren. It's crazy. It's, it's just rough. crazy. Um, hey, love the channel. Who is the better cook? Ralphie is. Not me. Maybe so. That's what they're talking about. I don't know who they're talking about. The comparisons. The seasonings are not in the stores locally as of oh, yet. Wait. We're hoping that's something that can be done in the near future. Get those likes up. Yeah, guys, thank you. I appreciate it, y'all. My new workout plan. Yeah, it's going to give you a little workout now, but I'm telling you, it is better. Aw, Ed. You ain't got to do that. It is definitely better, y'all, than, than like what you get in the jar. Don't get me wrong. You get like some Savoy's. Ruin the jar. That, it's pretty good, but it ain't as good as what you're going to make yourself, I promise. You know? Not never is. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Ralph? Much love. They call me H Town Sandy said. What's up, what's up, Ralph? Ralph, you said you called. 
I love Ralph the Swamp Boy. He explains everything and uses stuff that's affordable for us. Thank you. That's right. Very welcome. I ain't, I ain't got that all that money to be spending, but I tell you what. This big old pot of gumbo will feed a hell of a lot of people for less than about, about, about what you say, about $25? About $25? Oh, feed all this right now? Uh, yeah, if you're gonna home make the rule, yeah. If you home make the rule, 25 If you don't, 30 bucks. Man, if I can't feed 15, 20 people with this, I can't feed a one. Nah, seafood gumbo on the hand is a different Ooh, story. Boy, get your money right, save up. Though. Have a good $120. Thanks for the cooking book, Gary, Indiana. Hey, you're very welcome. So you gotta keep Ed on said mixing. he's gonna cash up. He said, tell everybody, get your uh, like button. I appreciate that, Ed. gonna cash up for every like. Ah, you hot bitch. Ed, you do not have to do that. I appreciate That's the love and support. That's very nice. Y'all got one or two eyes on three? Huh? What, what, Brandy? What the hell are you talking about? What's your favorite dish, Ralph? Uh, barbecue shrimp, y'all. I love some barbecue shrimp. Definitely love some barbecue shrimp. What's up, RJ? What's your name? Yeah, that is great. Hey, your wife put you on the sofa yet? Oh, here she goes. I'm going to have to get him in trouble. I ain't messed with him in a long time. Oh. My friend on here. Goodbye, <laughs> kids. Goodbye. We're going to have to get him in trouble soon. You're hungry? It's only five dollars a bowl. Look here up the baker. Speed up the process. I'm trying, bro. <laughs> he said, I'm hungry, Dad. Hurry it up. I'm trying, bro. I'm gonna burn it. Ooh, barbecue shrimp. Oh, y'all got one or two stove eyes on three heat setting. So he has two on right now and a both on like three. Yeah, three. What the hell should call it? Which eye I see? Well, it's kind of in between three or four. Yeah, that's dead on three. Oh, maybe you out. add the W sauce. You're going to add that once we get everything in it in the water? But y'all ain't going to believe I forgot my W sauce, man. Son of a boss. But y'all keep y'all W sauce on hand because we're about to need that. We're going to need that. Um, I'm sure it's coming, Sarah. All right, I'm going to see if I can get you in trouble tonight. What's up, people? Big love from UK. Loving all the kids. You're coming every blessing. You. Big kid with my homie. Bless y'all. That's awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. What's the famous fried chicken joint in New Orleans called? Oh, uh, shit. Uh, Maze. What's it called? Maze, Sarah. Maze. Willie Maze. Willie Maze, huh? Must be talking about Willie Maze. a few of them. Popeye? Henry said Popeyes. Popeye, yeah. That's what I said. Popeye. I mean, yeah, that's like a famous fast food joint. Oh, someone said that's a stew. You don't make a gumbo with a roux? Come on. Get, get, get your damn apron on and get to the stove. It's learning time, boy. Come on, Ralph. What's going on, homie? What's up? What's up? Yeah, what's up? Said, Ed, is it good? Yeah, yeah, Popeye's good, man. Oh, Lord, mercy. You don't make a roux for your gumbo. You ain't got a damn gumbo. You ain't no way you can have a gumbo if you ain't got a roux. I hate to tell you that, because you've probably been making it like that all your damn life, no? Nah? Oh, I got to learn you. I'm going to learn you. Don't worry about it. I'm oh, yes. You. Okay, so BW, yes. I have the video that we had from Port Fouchon that we went and helped out people. Um, I have some local. We met Luke. Yeah, we met Luke. So, I don't know. Are you going to post it here on Instagram? I wanted it's to ask Instagram. you that. What? No, the video footage, the video um, that I, I have to edit a, a, like another part of you it. You can post it here or on Instagram, here and Instagram. Oh, you dropped the spoon. See, y'all y'all got me talking and I'm going to burn my roof fooling around. Um, That's right, Mr. Baker, nice and slow. <laughs> See that, huh? They both are signed up for it. <laughs> what up, y'all? Oh, my God. All right. So anyway, we could put it on here and we could put it on uh, Instagram. Yeah, that double look was awesome. <laughs> Seen that, huh? We both like, oh, hell. You like, what the hell you came from? It popped my damn hand, man. It's hot, y'all. Come show them where we at, Sarah, if they can see what it looks oh, like. Oh, okay. It's starting to get a little bit darker, see? 
right. Y'all see how we starting to get a little bit darker? Y'all check that out, babe. Woo. Hey, we ain't there yet, but look at that. Y'all know that's looking good. I guarantee that looking good. Look at that. You ain't cooking if you ain't burning. That's right. Look at that, y'all. Check it out now. Look at that. Y'all see how that's darker than before I showed y'all? Look. Y'all know that looks darker now. And we getting there. We ain't there, but we getting there. See yeah, okay. So at this point, guys, is where I got nerves. It's starting to get thick, okay? you see? Because you see how it's still got a little bit of that grittiness that, and it smells like it's almost burnt? Like it starts having this burning smell. Like you, like. Maybe even a little smoke. Yeah, like you messing it up and you feel like you're scolding it. This is where I went wrong because I hurry up and shut it down at this point. And all that flour was still kind of sandy in it and it wasn't like. Let me advise y'all. Where so you need it. If you get it. nervous, I just want y'all to turn it down to two. Take your time, low and slow, okay? Do not turn it all the way off like Sarah did, please. No, I got scared of chicken night. It did not go well. Okay. No room in it's just too big to say yes. Guess you gotta keep on stirring nice and evenly. That's it. Yes, the dark room, y'all. Hell yeah. No, that's no part there. That room's beautiful. Thank y'all. Man, that's got all them vegetable flavors in it, man. Wow. Eric just sent $244 for likes. That was crazy. Oh, I ain't gonna get you in trouble tonight with your wife. I'm gonna tell her she better put you on the, in the bed. Wow. Oh, thank Eric, you. thank you. That is so sweet. That was he, very nice. Aw. Dang it, nice. Ed. I call him Eric. Because <laughs> he had, his name is E. Dave, but I call him Ed because I don't know how to be pronouncing his name. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, thank you. That was very nice. Wow. That look. He told y'all he was going to do that. He needed to be blessed tenfold. Oh, we're going to bless him. He's always helping us, man. He's, He's always helping somebody. That's so sweet. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. I don't know. I'm going to go a little bit darker than this, y'all. Yo, I can come by with tequila and a case of brew tea. Let me get a taste of Jeezy. All right, now. Nah, I ain't mad at you. Come on through. Who rubs the truth, bro? Hey, come on through. That was so nice. I know, huh? Oh, you solid. E. You officially Big E now. Oh, that we gotta nice. call him. Appreciate that. Big E. Oh, you done. <laughs> Every time I look at this camera, bro. Ah, you done did it again. All right, I can't look at the camera at this point. Talking about burn my roof, mess around. Amy fingers. I done burnt my damn finger. That the first is good, time. y'all. Blessings to everybody. Oh, everybody's gonna hit. Everybody, Thank let's just have a good night. That was so sweet. I can't even that believe was. that. Time for a beverage, bro. That was very nice, honestly. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. You guys are such amazing people. Y'all deserve to be blessed. Love from Lafayette. Oh, Thank what's you. up, Lafayette? Appreciate that. Wow, Ed is the new man of the hour right now. Yeah, Ed done hooked us up, man. Big Ed, looking nice. out. Thank you for the support. Truly, he's always been there from day one, giving me a hard time, laughing, hanging out, having fun, blessing people. Yeah. We appreciate it. All right, y'all, look. Thank you, Ed. We do really, truly appreciate it. Y'all show him this rule real quick. This is how you catch out with some fire cooking a rule. <laughs> yeah, and burn your damn fingers. Y'all look down up in this room. Okay. I, I like that right there. Y'all see that look like a little motor oil? You can go a little darker if you want. I might go a little smidge darker. But I could definitely stop right there. You see no how it's a little pasty? Like a, like you see how it's got the paste up in there underneath it? Like a liquidy paste, if that makes sense? Like liquid on the top, it's got, ah, you hot mother. Mmm, why it's splashing right You there. see? If y'all can see up close, I'm gonna put y'all up in the pot. Watch your head, man. I'm gonna splash your face. All right, Sarah, you want to give me some water? Back that up. Well, that's good. All right, y'all, hold up, y'all. We almost there. Now we cook. said my roux is not very dark yet. That's okay. It's going to get there. Hey, low and slow. Take your time. You're almost slow. When your roux gets dark, as dark as you're comfortable getting it, okay? Sorry, give me some water, baby. Oh. So the measuring cup right there. All right, so my roux is as dark as I want it. If yours ain't, don't worry. Take your time. 
We can go over the process. We, we, we smooth sailing now, okay? You want me to turn you down? No, we good. All right, so look. Put your chicken and sausage. Hey, guys. All right, I'm going to go with eight cups of water. Yes, Sarah, give me some more water, then. Eight cups, y'all. Don't worry if your roux ain't right yet. It's okay. Don't well, worry about that. Or you can use chicken broth, or I'll get you. Or you can use chicken broth if you got that. Whatever you want, you can go with. Yeah. So that's four cups. Now, let her glade up on in there with that. Oh, yeah, boy. Ooh, boy, watch. You made it again? Yeah, keep going hitting that. Scared now. Go right there, Ralph. She don't get scared now. Thank you. Watch this, y'all. It's gonna be some good. No, I would no. You don't want to whisk it, whisk the roux with a whisk. No, you just keep on doing use, that. Like a wooden spoon of some go, sort. Go, go, go. We gotta go more than that. That's eight. I think that was eight. Yeah. Go ten. I need. A, I mean, I got a big pot. Okay. Ten would be about good. Go all the way to the top of that pot. Let me see where it's at. Right, that's go good. More. No, that's plenty. All right, that'll work. All right. I need to let everybody else get their roux together real quick. Take that time. All right, so we put the, all the meat up in there. Now we got the vegetables, y'all. Go ahead up off in there with the vegetables. All right, so the vegetables, babe. Put all that up in there. Oh, yeah. Texas bands are looking good, brother. What real Thank sipping you. on? I don't, on, I don't want to drink vodka water. No, normally Ralph drinks tequila and water, but he's not drinking. Tonight. Who? I'm about to have one. You. I'm oh, you drink? Okay. Well, I mean, I might have one. I ain't getting all crazy. Oh, Melly. He, she sent over 20. Said my dad sent this to y'all. He said thank uh, you for all the prayers. No problem, Mel. Thank y'all so much thank for you, the Melly. love and support, Mel. All right, y'all. Listen. Oh, why is Ed doing this to me? He said, I now you got to give a shout out to my friend, Consta. Const Constant Poli. I don't think I said that right. You definitely ain't said that right. Oh, I can't right. even be mad at that tonight. All right, look. I, I'm going to stop here because I need to let people catch up with the rule, okay, y'all? So let's let them catch up with the rule. And then when they catch up with the rule, we're going to go further steps. So we made our rule. We threw in eight cups of water. Depends what size pot you use. It doesn't matter because you're going to season it to your taste. So if you got a big jumbo pot right now, and you need to add 15 cups of water, do that. If you need to add eight, add it. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Yeah, like, but that won't make it like, too watery for the roux. I mean, it depends on the size pot that you know. I would say just go with, like, 10 cups of water, y'all. Yeah, that's maxed out. My 10. Opinion. Go to 10. Go between 6 and 10 cups, okay? Don't, yeah, let's don't go too further than that. We're going to tighten it up, believe me. I don't want to go too much more steps, but... Now, if you want to add some chicken bouillon powder to your water, if you don't have chicken broth... You can do that. That'll just give it more flavor. And let me say this. Just because your roux isn't really, really dark does not mean your gumbo ain't going to taste good either. So if it's your first time making a roux and it comes out lighter than what you wanted, it's okay. Don't trip on it because it's going to taste just, it's going to taste good, okay? Just if you post it on the ground or you post it on your Facebook, you're going to be like, bro, what you got? You're going to be like, that's my roux. What you think that is? You're be like, bro, that's like kind of raggedy, you know what I'm saying? So... But it's going to taste good. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we learn. We learn together. We all learn from somebody. And if you don't start making a roux tonight or learning how to make one, you're never going to start. So you might as well just give it a try, you know? Now, somebody ask if this is your mama's recipe. Now, everything I learned from my mama or my grandma, y'all, to be honest with y'all, roux is kind of like just, I couldn't tell you where the hell I didn't seen this roux. Could have been mama. It could have been... uh Anybody. It's probably just a cultural upbringing of learning. Yeah. I can tell yeah. that sausage is probably delicious because it's made with real meat. Oh, yeah. I guarantee it. Big Swole makes that. I did not have it with the steak. RJ always does that, man. RJ's been sitting right here. Parker was it? And then he said, I'm not a gentleman on the gym. All right. Parker. I don't even have a friend named that. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Parker. See what it said? What is it? I don't even have a friend named that. <laughs> just wanted to hear you try and say it. Tell Cons the pulley. <laughs> he can stay right over there at his house and stop trying to play with me. Okay? Oh, man. That's Not Cons the pulley. Cons the right. loop. My friends, who, who's got that rule? Who's got that rule ready? Who's still working on your rule? Let me know if you're still working on your rule. We got more time than money in this house. I guarantee it. Let me know where we at. 
said we got to take that look they did and turn it into a meme. I don't know what we did. We did uh, when that person said, um, if, you don't put a, if you're putting a roux in it, it's not a gumbo, it's a stew. And we both looked at the camera like that was crazy. They, they meant to say if, if you put tomatoes in it. That's what they meant to say, I think, and they had it confused. I don't know what they... I'm what guessing. I, I don't know. Uh, let me know, guys, if your roux's not ready yet. If so, we move forward. If it ain't, we got time. We wait for you, you know? And no problem, baby. He's still working on it. I'm still okay. working on my roux. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time, baby. What is that hat saying? Where you got it? Look, can you see right there in the back? It's probably backwards. It says 504 NO. It looks like a license plate and it says Big Easy. Big Easy, baby. I got it for $10 at the gas station. Y'all know I don't wear no, no big expensive stuff. That's like a what? What you call it? A flat back? Flat yeah, I don't really like them hats, y'all. Y'all know I like, like baseball hats, but I ain't had no hat. So the dogs ate my hats, man. <laughs> Raggedy dog. They ate my damn hat. Y'all know I like my hats now. Gumbo is fire for real. Oh. Let me tell you, man. Y'all can make this right here. Gumbo is actually like a... And I'm being honest Snapback. with you. Snapback. That's the word I was looking for. Let me tell y'all something. Gumbo, y'all, is, is like a... like a Really like a chicken and sausage gumbo. It's like a poor man's meal, really. Because it's going to feed a hell of a lot of people for $25. I'm going to tell you that right now. Baby, you guys got you know? your rice. Yeah, give me that rice. I'm, I'm going low and slow. I ain't even... Did a few things, and I'm waiting on them to get their stuff together. So we, we, we chilling, chilling like a villain. You better feed these kids. They starting to go crazy. I, I can't do nothing for them right now. Let's go. Some, What's uh, up, Henry? Pizza rolls. Get that hot Stop sauce him. ready. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Your TikToks and YouTube have been getting me through my divorce. Learning how to cook. Glad you guys are safe and sound down there. Thank you so much, man. I'm sorry to hear about that divorce. You know, sometimes things in life happen, man. And sometimes for the best. It just takes a long time to realize it. Maybe you did realize it in your life. Or who knows? Or him or her. Who knows? But the point is that it's never a fun situation. No, definitely. You know? So, Ralph's been cooking it, I would say, about a good two to two and a half hours, depending on how fast you are, from about start about. to finish with your cutting up your stuff. Like, yeah, because it takes a little while to cut up all your sausage, your chicken, you got to cut up all your vegetables, you got to get all that right. A root takes 20, 30 minutes, you know? Yeah, and then you still got to, like, let it all simmer up and cook yeah, up Yeah, three together. hours, yeah. Three hours would be a good little time. All right, I'm going to Sarah step in. I'm going to grab my beverage. And when y'all roux is done, y'all let me know so we can go further into details on this. When your roux is done and it's dark enough, next thing I want you to do is go in there, y'all, with your sausage and your chicken, okay, when your roux is done. After that, I want you to go in there with six to eight cups of water. Your, your decision between six Aww, and eight. Aw, thank you, Ed. See you later. All right, Ed, thank you. We're going to see you on the next one. I got the street tacos ready in San Diego, waiting for the Gumbo Brother. We can have a cookout. Hell yeah, that'd be awesome. Russia's I love street tacos. in here, tacos. Minnesota. What's up, Russia? What's up, Minnesota? Um, All right, babe. Charles, I recommend. Thank you, guys. Yes, Anne Marie is, that, is our, um for that cash delivery and the suitcase you can handle with Anne Marie. That's right. Um... That's right. All right, let me back this up. Watch your feet, baby. Mm -hmm. Here, you can step on in for a minute. Sarah, step on in for a minute, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, you're saying all right, but... I was trying to read the I kind of just got that on two because I'm waiting for everybody else to get their root done. That's oh, get me that rice. Oh, I got it right there. My phone's about to power off. The charger around, yeah? Let me get your charger. Street here. tacos. What's up, Kentucky? I love street tacos. You know that? Me and Sarah bought some tacos. What's going on there? What that good? Oh, the, um... Oh, uh, what's the name beef? of them? Berea tacos? Is that how you say it? Yeah, I don't, but that place has really good food, so I was surprised that it was kind of bland. I didn't really taste a whole lot in the sauce. I mean, the taco itself was pretty good, but the the it's sauce that you dipped it in or the broth or whatever you call it didn't really have a lot of flavor, and that place is bomb, usually with everything else, so I was shocked. I've been waiting to try that. 
Yeah, it was a sucky thing. You know, when you got something, you think it's You said like, Minnesota instead of Michigan. I don't see nobody say Michigan. Well, what's up, Michigan? All right, baby, you put your phone on that so you can charge up. I could try, but it don't really... I think that thing is breaking. I dated a girl from Russia. All right. I ain't charging, boy. See how it goes on and off? There we go. There you go. Yep. Nope. It's off on All right. Mix that. Just let, let, tell them let you know. What's up, New York? All right. Let me know when y'all gotten to this point in the comments. If, oh, when your roof's done. When your roof's done, let, it, let me know in the comments so I can tell Ralph so he can go to the next step. So whoever is following along. All right, let's see. So, what's going on in the world? Is the stupid was on fire? I've seen an 18 month. Okay, Nate, I don't know what's going on out here. People are tripping. The Superdome was on fire. I don't know if I ever seen why it was on fire. I think it was something to do with construction or something that they had going on on the roof. Then we had an 18 wheel on fire on the spillway bridge. Um, not sure why. I think we're just having random combustible situations. I don't know. Everybody's tripping out here. I think everybody's just mad because they ain't got the trash picked up and we can't get no fast food and we can't get into the store. Maybe they're they setting shit on fire. I don't know. I hope all has had a great day. What's up, Muddy Outdoors? Y'all go subscribe. Oh, my phone powered off. Y'all go sub to Muddy Outdoors 1980. Hello, Anne Marie now. Oh, Lord. I thought I just seen one. What? Hold on. Oh, trust me, we got the best street tacos in San Diego. Waiting for you and the family, brother. Just let me know when you are headed out to the West Coast. Um, yeah, so we have two burners on for this pot. Better be drinking that Louisiana whiskey. We're doing well, Black Wolf. What's up, New Hampshire? Um, okay, let's see. Alrighty, so thank you, Miss Ginger. Much love from Cali. Yeah, so both of our, they're both on low right now because we're just waiting for people to catch up with their roux that's following along cooking. How y'all ain't 300 pounds in fat as of with that good food on this channel? Um, we have lots of kids. Lots of dogs. We stay really busy. I don't know. Some I finally fluctuate in our weight sometimes. Depending on the time of the year. Usually in the winter time we get a little heftier around here. What? In our weight. Probably stress. We get healthy? Helps. Hefty. Oh, hefty. <laughs> Ralph said we get healthy. <laughs> like, what do you mean? We ain't never been healthy a day in our lives. Yeah, we have a lot of things. I probably ain't one. No What's up, Sarah? Hello. My phone died, baby. You better stir that pot or Ralph gonna beat you. He gonna get beat with a wooden spoon. She's so pretty. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Thank you. That's so sweet. Good to know with all that's going on. I made my first gumbo and the roof separated. Aww. I can't tell you what you did wrong because I ain't got no damn clue because I can't make a rule either. Sorry. Everybody that comes to Louisiana, the first thing they uh, want to do is eat. That, that thing. You got to put your chicken and sausage in as soon as your rule is done. Not, oh. not your liquor, not that. Oh, okay, because I did that. I added my water to the roux. As soon as my roux was done, I just added water and not my meat and vegetables. And it did separate on mine too. And it became like sandy water. Oh, so if you did what I did, don't do that again. Add your meat so it all sticks to it, I guess, right? And then when you add the water, it won't separate. I don't know. It's probably some kind of scientific situation with it. LOL, roux separated. 
Ralph needs to write a book for real about cooking and the criminal life. What's up, Oakdale? Looking forward to those cooking vlogs at the end of the year. What's up, Dallas, Texas? All right. Hey, you're going to burn your hand not paying attention. No. Oh, go ahead and touch that thing right there. See how hot it is. You're going to find out the hard way, y'all. All right, you need to put some seasoning in here. And move on. Like... You got hungry-ass kids. All right. I'm getting a couple minutes. I use chicken broth instead of water. Uh, Black Wolf Ralph uses chicken, I mean... Chicken broth a lot. Yeah. Instead of water. He just forgot it tonight. So I don't what think that was an issue. The best way I to like do enchiladas. The best way to do it is you gotta add the chicken and sausage first. Mm -hmm. Let that get natural. And then you know what I'm saying? Then add your liquid, then add your vegetables. I don't know. I ain't the chef. I'm just telling you, that's the truth. Oh, Lord, I thought they said your ex-wife. Someone said, I remember watching about your ex-wife. I thought they said your ex-wife. They haven't been cooking pizza this whole time. Drunk. <laughs> Let me get right here. <laughs> hey, Georgia boy, what's up? Why you charge this? Oh, change your out. Yeah, Ralph was getting hot in here with the stove on. It might have been what he said. Yeah, probably so. I had a family friend, he said he used to use bone broth. Yeah. I mean, like your seafood gumbo, you can use like a seafood stock. You can use chicken broth. You can use water. It just adds more flavor to it. That's right. Hit it with a cage of seasoning. I'm going to get the rice going. All right, so... I'm going to say this. Y'all don't come for us for how we make rice around here. We make rice around here pretty similar to how you're going to make pasta. We boil it up till it's done, and then we, we strain it. Y'all don't be talking about us. Hello, Brandy said how you make your rice. That's how we do that. It's not the correct way. It's not the way the instructions say to do it on the bag. That's, but that's how we do it. And it works. And it comes out good. Um, hopefully not too much. I'm going to have to crank this up so it'll cook. Not too much longer. All right. Carlos and Chirac. All right. Morris and me too. It works. It makes All right, it. And parboiled rice doesn't overcook. It doesn't get mushy. All right, so we're pumping it up the foil. Is your roux done yet? If your roux ain't done, write this down. Now you're going <laughs> to yeah, throw right. in a quarter cup of W sauce. I ain't got it. You got it. Throw it in there. Yeah, if you got the W sauce at this point, you would add it. Quarter we ain't cup. got it, so we skip it. Your Cajun seasoning. My Cajun seasoning, you got that? Not too much, you know what I'm saying? Something like, about like that. The garlic powder, y'all. I can't read the comments because my phone died. That. That's your garlic powder. You're Throw welcome. Some onion powder. I like this. All right, he said the roux is fine. Okay, perfect. Some onion powder up in there. And five bay leaves, y'all. Okay? Hey, so what's up, Big Ralph? What's up, y'all? Throw you in a good five mm -hmm. bay leaves. Five of them puppies, okay? Now, get it on. Get that right there. Mix everything on up, y'all. Look at that. Hold on. Now, I know a lot of y'all ain't gonna have this, but since I got it, I'm gonna use it. Hand me my gumbo pack. I know a lot of y'all ain't got it, so don't worry about it. Y'all used all the regular seasons. I used it. I used a little bit. Because I ain't going to use much, but you're going to use it to flavor. But this is the gumbo season as I sell y'all on the website. Go ahead up on there with the whole pack. If you bought one from me and you got it, go in there with that pack. I know some of y'all got it. Somebody might have it. Go ahead up off in there with that. And having a gumbo filet, where that's that? Did you buy new ones or you just had, I mean, a new thing? 
Oh boy, don't be like now. I have some. Okay. Now. Alright. Pressure. Oh, it was pressure washing the super don't want Yeah. Now look. Two tablespoons of gumbo filet, okay? That thickens it. So if you don't like it too thick, you can add just a little bit. Go you can add more. Go one teaspoon, one tablespoon. I mean one tablespoon. And it adds a flavor too, but it'll also thicken your um the consistency. Put that up off now. Alright. A pork lard in his um that could be good it could be flavorful he said i like it thick all right now let that sucker cook in about four and a half or five y'all maybe about 20 more minutes and i'll tell you what it's gonna thicken up y'all gonna see i'm gonna show you it's gonna thicken up Oh, it's gonna be some good. That rice will be done. We're gonna have a hell of a pot of gumbo. Yeah, you got kids coming in here. I'm much older. I'm much older. Yeah, the kids all coming in here like they ain't ate McDonald's earlier. Good thing we stopped to get it. I knew it was gonna be late by the time this was gone. Hey, that was a late, that was an early dinner, really, though, they ate. Yeah, but imagine if you weren't though. But we did. And them fools are still hungry. All right, y'all, so this is going to be good. good. Look at that gumbo. You see that, y'all? I don't know if y'all can see it. Show them this gumbo real quick. Show them this, show them this gumbo, man. Okay. Look at this, y'all. Check it out. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be good, y'all. Right now, you're letting all, everything marry each other right now for the next 30 minutes. Look at that. All right. Let it go ahead on. So Ralph's main occupation, guys, is he does a, um he has an online he has a website where he sells his baked stuff because he's been a professionally baking, should I say, for the last ten years. So it's a website where he sells his baked goods and he also sells his seasonings. That I would say is like his main occupation and. Um, YouTube and TikTok and stuff have been able to really to like expand trees. that. Hmm? I climbed trees for about 15 years, you know what I mean? So I'm glad to be able to retire that situation, man. That was yeah, me too. That was rough, man. I tell you, climbing trees and cutting them down 15 years is rough. So what is that you making? Gumbo. Gumbo, fool. Well, why do I always keep saying roux or something like that? We're making a roux. The roux, roux is time. the base of gumbo. Boy, you better get in this kitchen asking about you don't know what a roux is. Boy, boy, boy. boy you yes. better come in here by your dad and What's learn something. What's his name something. on TikTok? Drip cooking, and you don't, drip cooking and you don't know how to make a roux from Louisiana, huh? Look, bro, I did. All right, I made it in one video. Oh, drip cooking. Come over here, drip cooking. Let's show him what you look like. This is my oh, son. He's, he thinks he's a professional cook. You gotta learn from your daddy. Dick. I got Now, he's trying to flex oh. his muscles. No, I'm gonna burn myself. You did one time. Oh, wait, too long. Too long. Oh, oh. What the hell is he saying? Make it tell out of here. Yeah, I said he too long. He don't know what the hell he's saying. Don't know. I was about to burn my back on that. He's on too. FaceTime with Josh. Whoa. No, he's, he's on live. Thank you, guys. He's on live. Oh, Josh sent he's over $10. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. I feed my dog first, then my kids. That's right. <laughs> kids need to eat. <laughs> Typical kids, always hungry. That's right. Yeah, how long Good. Is that? Not long. All, All right, well. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Black Wolf, for joining. He just looks like his daddy. I know, huh? Boy, something else. My old man works outside. I'm trying to pop off. Aw, Brandy on my cancer journey. Don't even have one K subject. Aw, Brandy, I'm gonna go sub to you. Let me go. Oh, dang it, my phone is. Take a screenshot of my name. No, she ain't even on that. What you doing? Yeah, right here. That's her. Right here. Oh, okay. I don't know how to screenshot on your phone. Yo, Sarah. Oh, we can go back that. in the comments on that once it the last. I know how to screenshot on my phone, baby. Okay. All right, there we go. <laughs> FedEx me some of that gumbo. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. That's the one that gives me gray hairs. 
Look at this, what? Who is coming together? You want a claw? No. No, baby, I'm all right. Come through. You want to come over here for a minute? I ain't had no damn ice. Y'all ain't had no ice, so my water is gonna be my ice. This is gonna be my ice cube for my tequila and water. I can't read. I'm, my head's all up in here. Probably the New Orleans version of Cajun Ninja. Okay. Alright, back it up a little bit. I, I can't even see nothing. There we go. Right. That's a big ice cube. Yeah, I'm about to go. I gotta cut this here cup. I mean, this bottle. Put it in my cup. This is top tier cooking. Thank you, guys. I mean, not because of me, because I don't be cooking too much. Sarah does cook, man. All that cooking Ralph does, his son sure should know how to make a gumbo. No, they just like, they don't like to cut. This generation doesn't want to come and learn how to cook. They want to just eat and sit on their phone and play on their games. They don't want to come in here and learn in the kitchen. About when that rice is done, this gumbo will be done. Be thickened up, ready to roll. I ain't guarantee it. Tell you that nothing. What's up, baby? All right, y'all, hold up. Oh, yeah, they're getting right. It's almost past their bedtime. Wait, Mama. They got to get it to, in the swing of things again because school's going to be starting back soon. Mama, Daddy, you might be probably mad about this. Our dad has a dog in our bed. And it was all black. And I tried to get on it, but I... It's the pup. Yeah, there's a puppy on our back. Okay. And I almost got him on it. I almost sitting on it. I almost jumped on it. How we cook rice? We use the pro ball rice. right there. I'm going to show it to y'all. And just put it in the water. You can't even overcook it or nothing. It's beautiful rice. I mean, perfect. Yeah, I know, right? Tequila owes me some damn loot, as much as I use tequila. Did I wash my hands? I think I did. Let me do it again. Hold on, y'all. Let me just wash my hands real quick. One sec. Y'all, how's y'all gumbo coming out? If anybody's making it, no, somebody's making it, yeah. What are these kids are being a fool? They better go back to school quick. Is your phone charging on it? Much left from Cali. I have no Appreciate idea. Appreciate it, Cal. I get rice in a bag. So you no, never show, get it right. Show them this rice. Because this rice, you can't, you won't overcook it. You can't. All right, so this is long grain. That ain't what matters. Parboiled rice. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. I don't know what that means. That's what matters, though. I would assume parboiled means like pre-boiled. And you can't overcook it. And I mean, maybe you cooked it for a long, long time, but it's yeah. really, really good. Aw, Big Soul sent you over ten dollars, Ralph. You ain't gotta do that, brother. I appreciate it. You do not gotta do that, man. <laughs> do you not put a top on the rice? No. So y'all don't come for me with the rice. We cook rice the opposite way that the directions tell you. All right. We cook it kind of like you do pasta. Not for the same time lens, but you just you act like cup? we fill up. What you want? That cup. We just fill up the My water sure. about a little bit more than halfway. We don't measure it. And then we pour in our rice. We don't measure that either. We're no. going to let it boil. And we're going to keep watching it until the rice is done. And then we're going to strain it. That's how we do it. How you need a top I got masami rice and I'm following the directions on the bag. It'll right. be just fine. Yeah, that's fine. Y'all can make it however works for y'all. I was just showing you that because it's a little easier. That's all. What's up looking like a rough twin? Oh, <laughs> uh, you talking about our son? Looks like his daddy. Spit him out, huh? Like I didn't have nothing to do with that. I love jazz and rice. Jazz and rice is very good. I got the easy way rice pot. There you go, Jay. Um, you can wash your rice first if you want. We don't. Now, if I'm using like regular white rice, I like to wash it because it's like 
very extremely starchy when you cook it. And I find if you don't pre-wash it, it'll get like really starchy in the water and stuff. But the parboiled rice, I don't find washing it is, ne is necessary. It's not as starchy as like regular white rice. So it's in your preference. I'll be seeing in that cup. But anyway. Is your phone charging on that thing? No, I have no idea. Let me see. Uh, I can't tell. If it ain't lighting up, it ain't charging. I don't think so. These kids are going nuts. I just went in there to deal with them. I'm going to turn it down a bit. It don't sound like that went too good. I just got his damn puppy up over there. No, that's, I think that's the other dogs crying. I do need to go deal with that before I eat. Mel gave me this cup, y'all. It says, I make tequila disappear with your superpower. See it? Okay. Ralph Jr. better not be doing those devious. <laughs> I love this channel. Hope you guys get famous. Thank you, Carlos. Thank I never you. get used we'll to that. Appreciate it. Tell me jokes, somebody. We ain't got no jokes. Man, I wish we did, but we don't, man. That's good rice, and I like yellow rice. is real good. Yeah, yellow rice is really good too. What time is it in Louisiana? It is eight thirty-six. Do you cook wildlife? Yeah, I cook up some deer and stuff like that. You know, that's about it. That's if I can get some. You know. Yeah, I don't know. I was taught one and a half cup of water to every cup of rice and cook it 17 minutes. Never fails. Doesn't matter how much rice you cook, stick to the ratio and time. Old Cajun man taught me that. That's right. Oh, okay. That sounds good. I might have to try that. I'm loving this cool front. Yeah, I know, right? Really feeling nice out there, for real. I mean, I would like it to get a little bit cooler, please. Cause that's 78 degrees today. We just got the tease of a cold front. Somebody said something, a joke just now. See what it was about a cow. Oh my goodness, joke! What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's stupid, bro. Oh my You're god. Crazy as hell, man. Thanks, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly, bro. That is funny. Ooh, baby, you got some dishes to do tonight. It's one thing about when you make that gumbo, I forgot to tell y'all, is that when you're making that gumbo, I guarantee you, you have a lot of dishes to clean, I'm going to tell you. If you do it Rob's way. If you do it my way. Now, we do have something out here that I like to use when I cook, because I do shit like half ass. Is like we have, I don't know if y'all have it, but like, pre-cut up seasonings like we can buy our trinity pre-cut up in the refrigerated aisle i think it's like gidry's or something like that is the name brand of it and then that takes out all the cutting time for your onions and stuff but it's frozen it's kind of raggedy i mean it ain't raggedy but i mean it's not as fresh so you're not going to get that real good fresh seasoning but it does it does work it'll do the trick yeah especially like for red beans or something like that that's when sarah will use that yeah Joke, what do you call a pig that's been stretched pulled pork? No, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all too much. Oh man, y'all crazy. Man, we almost there, y'all. We are almost there. We are almost there, y'all. Boy, boy, we're looking like something now, I guarantee it. Watch when y'all see this get pulled up in the bowl, watch. Ain't that right now? And man, I tell you, like I said, y'all, you know, it's a cheap meal, really, for so many people, you know? It really is. It ain't bad at all. You know? Just like, uh, it's like when you make jambalaya, you know what I mean? Your sausage and chicken, you know? It ain't expensive, so you can feed a lot of people for a little money, you know? Kids are supposed to be sleeping, as you can tell, and they ain't. Okay. Just working on my rice. All right. Thanks, 
waiting. Oh, just waiting on my watch. Excited to try my first bowl of gumbo. That's awesome. Definitely. I can't wait to see how that came out for sure. Big pot of chili. Yeah, I made chili before, but yeah, we make some more chili and that's starting to get cooler, you know? Now, that's awesome. The first pot of gumbo, man. That's always an awesome thing. No. Somebody said they're just waiting on their rice and then they're going to have their first bowl of gumbo. You know, oh, yay! Gumbo. That's awesome. And then, whatever you got left over, you put in the refrigerator, you already know it's better the next day. Couple more minutes. The rice. Oh yeah, smells good. Hell yeah, it smells good. So yeah, that's saying it's almost done. Oh yeah. That rice is done. This gumbo gonna be done. Oh, rice right. is too long. The rice almost done. Oh. Ben had the rice. On I can eat cold gumbo or spaghetti. That's right. I can eat cold spaghetti, but I don't know about oh, cold gumbo. Get hot. This thing is too close. Okay, baby. Thank you. Ooh. Drip cook and tried to give you advice and got disrespected by his mama. How I got disrespected? I said, okay, thank you. Well, you kept it. Then. That was very nice. The, the fact that you kept it, then ain't move over a couple inches. So RJ tells his mom, hey, mom, that's a bit close to the pot. And he's drip cooking online. He tells his mom, hey, that spoon's too close to the pot. It's going to get hot when you go to grab it. It's going to be a problem. And she said, okay, thank you. And she didn't move the pot, so he felt disrespected. <laughs> I mean, he, she didn't move the spoon, so he's like, oh. So what I say course. don't matter. Okay, baby, there you go. Who's not too close? You did that first time I've been a different story. Okay, baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Well, boy. I'm in All right, ask so RJ what he knows about weekend schemers. Weekend schemers? Schemers? <laughs> Do you, you know, know anything I... about that? Who is that? He's a... <laughs> he don't know. <laughs> Do you have your own seasoning? Yes, Ralph does. Bakers101.com. Yeah, right. See my picture on there and all that? Make sure if you don't like the spice, too spicy, you don't get the spicy. They got the original and they got the spicy, yo. Oh, what did ready? one sick casket say to the other? Is that you coughing? Oh, my oh, God. That's, that's <laughs> oh, that's oh. great. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Ralph, who has the best shrimp po' boy in your town? The best shrimp po' boy. Man, that's so hard, but I'm going to go with Parkway Tavern, is it? Oh, thank you. Asher Nandez sent over 20. I hope y'all are getting back to normal. I'll put that gumbo on a cracker, dude. Thank you, Asher. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ooh, boiled eggs and gumbo is good. Oh, no. Better than that, y'all. Hold up. Let's show them what uh, Big Swole, the one that makes the sausages. Why you showed us how to do it? I ain't never did this before. Let me show y'all. She, hold on. She poached eggs We're going to poach gumbo. one of them bitches. You talk about good? That oh. was good. Hold up. You poach it in the I'm gumbo. In the yeah, we're going to do one. Instead, oh, wait. I got I to gotta drink this rice. All right. Hold on, y'all. I got to get an egg. You wanna, how many eggs you want to do, Sarah? Um... Just do enough for me and you. I say four, three. I ain't gonna eat two. I'm gonna eat one in my uh, plate. Let's just say Let's do Ooh, this is gonna be hot. I know this is gonna be freaking. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay. I can't run. Hold up, y'all. Y'all gonna like this. That's what I'm saying. We learn something every day, man. They gonna come down here, and I'm making gumbo. They show me how the hell to do it. This is like, man, the hell with a boiled egg, bro. Hold up. Hold the front door. Get you like a spoon like this. Need a gumbo spoon. All right, gotta get you one like here. Watch this, y'all. Like, watch. Okay? I ain't no professional. You just scoop up your little sauce like that? No, you need less than that. All right, get it in there. I can't do it both. All right. Hold up, y'all. Let me... All right. All right, a little bit of uh, broth in there. Don't burn me looking at that damn thing now. All right. Pour so you egg. crack the egg in there. Show them what it looks like right there real quick. Y'all look at that. I got to get it cooking. We are. All right. Okay, then you're just going to put the ladle. You're going to ease it in there. On top of the um boiling gumbo. It's not in there. So watch, let me get this Until. Camera. Let me show y'all. 
And you can kind of get some of that golden broth in there. This ain't quite going like Char's did. She said until you see white stuff. It's coming. A little, little bit of the hot now. I did. I put some in there. Put some more on it. Ain't hurt nothing. All right, and then you drop it in. Yep. All right, and then you just put it in there like this. Yep. You just drop it. Leave it alone. Uh oh. I don't up. think I did it right. Yeah, you did it right. It made me call Big Swole run tough. I didn't do it right, Ralph. All right, let me do it. It's Hold stuck up. in the ladle. We left it in too long. No, we didn't. Let's try another one. She made it look so easy, bro. We, we it left it in too long. You got to put it in immediately. Right, no, it ain't immediately. You no, I'm talking it. about the spoon in there immediately. What are we you trying should... to show them, bro? Well, we can't do that if it's going to ruin the egg, fool. Nah, the egg's going to be good, man. Where is that? Mm, leave it in there cooking so it don't get all lost in there. All right. All right. All right, we Welcome can't come up. All right, let me do it. We left it in there too long was the issue. Let's see if she just made it look easy. Oh, it is easy. Let's see if that comes out right. I don't know. His wife made it look real easy. I can't let me wash my hands. I can't personally say I've done that before. Here, push this back. Okay. I can't personally say I've ever done that. <laughs> but let me tell you. I love the eggs too. I see Florida puts them in the seafood while I never have. Y'all, I never They said I trust you. Man, I'm telling y'all, they were so freaking good because they boiled in that seasoning, you know? Let me see where that bitch went. A good baker will rise to the occasion. Sarah's messing a day egg world is over. <laughs> Sarah's watching to make sure you do it right. She said, did I do it wrong? We ain't did it right, bro. Man, I told you she made it look easy, bro. Hold on, let me find it. An extra egg in there ain't going to do no harm. Yeah, but where... Is it? How she made it look so easy, bro? I don't know. You ain't found it yet? I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to break it up. I think Sarah made that look easy on us, bro. Yeah, I think she did. I guess so. that's what people say I do. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. That's right. I'm going to see if it's in there. I think that second one ain't going to be good, though. I don't know. That first one didn't survive. Sarah's first one, damn sure didn't survive. Okay. Y'all gonna have egg drop gumbo soup? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, baby. Oh my god. My stove looks out, very baby. familiar. Do y'all prefer gas or like gas all day? Scrambled egg gumbo now. Oh, what's up, Kristen? I didn't see you in here. No, I, I'm getting that out of there. Oh, I came apart? Well, yours did, of course. That second one may have, I ain't sure. It's incredible. What? Sorry, you can get it out well, we ain't poaching that again. We're going to wait for Sarah to come back. Yeah, we're going to try to attempt that, bro. She made that look easy on us. Smell ready, bro. <laughs> Does it smell like it's worth $10 a bowl? Man, hit it with 11 dollars Yeah, gas stove is always better. You have better control over your uh, settings, your heat, and it just cooks way, way better. I think we're ready. I'm sick of this. He said, let it pop up. Stop touching yeah, it. Yeah, that bitch is. Mine's right there, bro. Yeah, that's itty bitty. Where's the whole rest of the egg? It was a small egg, man. No, that's a lie. Your egg came apart. Come on. Bro, oh, bro look at that egg right there, man. I've I never had it. homemade gumbo or crawfish bowl either. I need some of that. Man, that's how Sarah's look, man. What you talking about, man? What you want to do? No, you her think Sarah had more, a whole egg? No, yeah, she had a whole white part on it. That's because she was using them y'all jumbo eggs, man. He don't cook nothing. Our dad don't cook nothing. Hold on, here's, here's something. What's happening here? You got to let it pop up. It did. That's, why I'm... that's my egg. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> that one I just came up with, I thought was mine, ended up being yours. All right, big swole. Sarah in here. Did did we do it right or did we mess? I know I messed up the first one. We left it in the ladle too long. Now, hell no, we didn't do it right. Look. 
Still gonna be good though. I ain't mad at that considering we don't really know how to do it. Like I said, y'all just showed us how to do it. Right, let me shut this thing down. It's done thickened up. Let me show you the egg right here. Here it is. You know he did this right. I can add it. Hell no. Where's the rest of the egg? That's it, love. It's hot too. Y'all need to pull up a YouTube video on how to do the damn egg, probably. Man, it, she made it look easy on us, man. She done pulled the whole, it looks oh, it's so easy to do on us. All right. We're going to make a bowl so we can feed these kids. Gonna make some bowls now, y'all. So you going to eat eat a bowl. Who? You. I ain't fucking ten and I ain't hungry. You crazy? You ain't hungry? Bro, we just ate McDonald's a couple hours ago, sir. All right. Food? Yay. Yeah. How do I know that the food was done? I don't know. Maybe I have superpowers. I know what we're doing. Something. She said I have superpowers. Maybe. Yeah. She walked out as soon as the gumbo was done. That's how my mama taught me. <laughs> that's what I do. And you're my mama, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what the hospital said. <laughs> All right, we're about to show you what it looks like. Now, the only thing that's missing is the potatoes. Potato salad. Mom, you know can't do everything on live. Hold up, show it to them real quick, salad. man. If I turn it. No, y'all. If I turn it, it is going to spill. That's what you want it to look like right there. I'm telling you. I guarantee it's good. What'd you say, baby? I said someone put the potato salad in their gumbo. Your mama. I do that. That's in the middle, too. I usually do my a scoop at a time so my whole potato salad don't no, melt in my gumbo. Put the whole thing in there. Yeah, you put your whole scoop of potato salad in your gumbo. It's good. I thought that was for the Alyssa. Oh. No, oh, I got no. one. I'm good. Oh, okay. Well, who the hell you made that for? Her. Me. <laughs> what you mean? I don't serve nobody. I'm serving myself. Yeah, she didn't even help me order the when we went to the restaurant. You have some on your shirt. No, you old enough to damn order uh, your own food at a restaurant. No, I didn't know how to order because their stuff is different than ours. Y'all eat potato salad with gumbo? That's different. Oh, that is the traditional way yeah, to eat better. gumbo. Ooh. You have to eat it that way. Or oh, you'll yeah. be kicked out. Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, we didn't have any W sauce. I know. You would, order, you would add a quarter of a cup of Debbie sauce, you looks amazing. Y okay, rice is done. Thank y'all so much. My boyfriend has never had gumbo. That's awesome. This is my first time making it. Taste test so far shows that it's fire. That's right. All right, awesome. yay! That's awesome. She's the one that's been going along yeah, with us the whole time. that's good. I got to try it that way. It's so good. You got to have potato salad. Yeah. Even if you don't like to mix it, you got to have it I don't mix it. Sarah does, but I eat it together. I just don't mix it. I usually like I'll put a scoop of potato salad in there at a time so that like if I do it all it like it'll melt all up in there. I seen somebody on TikTok put a a bowl of potato salad in a crawfish bowl. Huh? I don't know. Girl. A bowl of you got an egg? potato salad inside of the crawfish boil? Yep. Like in the pot? In the pot, bro. Scoop Why would you do that? I don't know. It's just gonna go into a billion pieces. Look at that egg. I'm gonna disrespect to Sarah's way of showing us how to do it. We all learn that. But it's good. Sarah just made it look real easy though. Now, right is this the mustard or mayo type? So the kind of potato salad we eat has mustard and mayo. And dill pickles. No and sweet olives. relish. And olives. Can't wait to make it. Chopped green onion on top. That's money. This okay, I gotta set this down for a minute because it's burning my hands. It's so hot. That's the only thing about gumbo is you gotta let it rest for a minute because it will burn. It's so hot, it'll scorch Burn your mouth. Hell out you. Oh, your phone finally powered back on. Oh, it's a miracle. Potato salad, <laughs> never do that. Sounds good. I have to try. Yes, it's tradition. Anytime you come out to Louisiana, well, I'm going to say southern Louisiana. I don't know about northern Louisiana because they get a lot of heat. I ain't going to hate on northern Louisiana. Show them the they gumbo. Can cook. Show them real quick in the gumbo. You're going to get potato like salad on the side with your gumbo if you go to a restaurant. Typically, you would be uh, offered that. See what it looks like, y'all, though? Check that out. See it? Let's look at that down. That's yes, good. let yeah. it cool. All right, I was just showing them, babe. 
Just showing the finished product as well. Yeah, it's similar to a stew. Yeah, Carla, she was getting a little out of hand, so we we paused you. You get a little crazy again, that'll that'll happen again. We gotta keep it kind of chill, cause then we all get in trouble in here. Yeah. And then we can't do lives and stuff. We all gonna get in trouble. And we just getting started, bro. Imagine that. Right. I mean, we can have fun and say some crazy shit, but sometimes we gotta just like be mindful. A little bit of egg. I like uh, egg. Looks delicious, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you don't have to add eggs. Some people put boiled eggs in their gumbo. What should we cook? When we do another live, another cooking live, y'all, what y'all want to see? What y'all want to cook? Not no damn crawfish, because it ain't crawfish season, y'all. Come through, man. Wow, B said, man, I moved from Louisiana to Oklahoma, but let me tell you, I miss a good pot of gumbo. Man, I don't know. You know, Sarah wanted to move out, and I ain't Ooh, against. Ma, Parker. I ain't against moving to Alabama. Yeah, I mean, it's hot, baby. We just took that some bitch off. All right, it's, um, okay. Barbecue shrimp, chili. I want to see turtle soup. Oh, Lord. I would love to have a beer with Ralph and Sarah. Oh, oh thank yeah. you. Bowl of chili. All right. All right. A couple chilies. Swole said it's perfect. All right. Nah, bruh. Sarah's looked all like a pretty egg and all, bruh. We getting better. Sarah made that look easy though. Right? I ain't gonna lie. Gator po boy. We did a po boy on live. Not a gator. We did. Shrimp. No, that was two different things. Someone said gator. Someone said po boy. Okay. But they said rock. Why are they playing Rocky Mountain oysters? Nah, hell no. Barbecue shrimp. Glad okay. to stay to the end. Thank you. Pot yeah, it's always a fun. Okay, time. so you have a lot of chili. Um, chili and barbecue shrimp is the top. All right, y'all. So out of chili and barbecue shrimp, which one y'all want to do? We got to pick one. Let's see. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Maybe that'll be a good... Ooh, a muffalata. Oh, man. Muffalata's good. <laughs> chili, 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 chili. Barbecue shrimp. A2 fig. Shrimp, shrimp. Chili. Oh, shit. All right. So, the next two we'll do... We'll do a chili. I don't know which one first. So, they want Everybody's barbecue shrimp saying chili. and chili. All right. We'll do chili and then we'll do the barbecue shrimp, y'all. We'll do those... We'll do another one this week sometime, and then uh, we'll do a live this week on a chili, and then we'll do a live. What's today? Maybe you can make it a Wednesday thing. I might go live two oh, times a week sometimes. I'm, I'm hungry. Some. But yeah, I'll give you some. Is that what kind of chili? But Sarah gonna have a little surgery on Friday, so I probably won't do a Friday live. I won't do a Friday live because Sarah's gonna have surgery. Uh. But yeah, so your next opportunity might be back when you're done again. Yeah, give Sarah a few days to heal back up, and then uh, maybe Wednesday. No, 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 not that big one. The this little This Wednesday one. we'll do a, uh, not the big one, says. Oh. Because I got two those. Those, yeah, those two are your, you want to switch? No. I'll take my two little ones. All right. Louisiana breakfast. That's chill. Yeah, I love that. Oh, uh, cool. So, yeah, this Wednesday coming up, we'll do another live. We'll do that chili, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do something else, barbecue shrimp or something like that, whatever, you know? Ooh, that was hot. Yeah, damn right it's hot. Can you keep us updated on her through the community post? Oh, I'll be fine, y'all. It ain't nothing too yeah, serious. Yeah, I'll definitely let y'all know, but she's going to be all right. Yeah, I'll be all right. Do a two-hour surgery, and uh, she'll be home the next day. She's going to have it on Friday. She'll be released from the hospital on Saturday. And uh, she's going on on Friday. She'll be released from the dog pound on Saturday. I'm playing. Bro, I won't beat you up. No, I'm just playing. So, uh, all is well, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, make dessert. a dessert. Yeah, we, we, you know what? That's a good idea. On the next cooking we do, we do chili and we do a dessert. You need to do some beignets. Because that's a big thing out here. Yeah, I can show you how to make some beignets for sure. <laughs> here yeah. for the food, but stay for the good time. Thank you, Trent. Appreciate it. So... All right, y'all, we're going to jump off, man, and uh, I'm glad y'all joined in and enjoyed it. I'm glad y'all, some of y'all was able to try it. If not, y'all go back and watch the live, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got the recipe, y'all, get that going, and uh, I'm going to get with Big Swole over the weekend, and uh, he's coming to pick up his puppy, and uh, and then we'll figure out that sausage, how we can get that to y'all. Other than that, y'all, y'all be safe, man. Be blessed, and thank y'all for joining in, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Letty. Thank you, Rhino. Crystal. Yeah, take it, it's hot, bro.
Y'all have a good night. This was really amazing to watch. I've been missing my Louisiana and on God. We we'll miss you back, too. Man. Thank you. We'll be Love back, y'all. Where's mine? You got it, babe. A little? I didn't help with the camera. Just to be honest, I'm broke.